table, I'm like, who got the seal? This bitch got past the kid, I'm like, who let her in? that broke bitch in, cause she too messy. Yeah. Fuck them broke boys with, get out my section. Get out my section. I pull the muscle, goddamn, too much pleasure. Damn. Caught them in traffic on the accident, we pressing. Got them. Smoking Zaza every second, I be stressing. They ain't tryna beat them, fuck it, won't you stretch them, do that They wipe their nose for that tissue, God bless them, wipe it I drop the four perp, I call that shit cause Weber drink They wipe their nose for that tissue, God bless them, wipe it I drop the four perp, I call that shit cause Weber drink Huncho. I'm the huncho, bitch, I'm about my cheddar Little ho keep going out sad, little bitch do better, bitch She want me to hit it, put my blinky on the dresser Got you. Feeling free and just like Elon Paul the Tesla. I be you ain't got no motion, you can't stand up in my session. Get out. I said, Carisha, please, do, cause she too messy. Please. Bitch, fuck my dog behind my back, but I ain't stressing. Not at all. You wanted the game, you should've just said it, we would've blessed it. You should've just said it. Now she got messy. Hey, no, I'm tone bite, no, I'm tone bite, no, I'm tone bite. We back, Ratchet Gang. We back with another one. We back with another banger. Get the likes up. Look, you might have forgot. Hell, they might have forgot. But you already know, it's the king. Too loyal, no, I'm tone bite, Ratchet TV. Hey, I right, y'all already know, man. Y'all already know, get the likes up if you in the building. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell so you can get the drop whenever I drop. All right, so boom. Man, 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 man. We got to talk, Ratchet Gang. We got to chop it up. Look, tonight we got to get back into this CERN situation. What is going on in this world? It, it, it is a bunch going on, man. There's a war going on. There is... I don't even know if y'all up on it. Have y'all been seeing the Israel stuff? Like, all that? have y'all been seeing all that stuff today? I've been, I've been knocked out. Look, I had a very crazy day again. Uh, I, I've had a very interesting day, my damn self. And I am starting to get sick. I can feel it. I ain't gonna even lie. I'm starting to get sick. So I did go out there with that eclipse, and now I'm starting to get a little under the weather. So I don't know who else is. But I, 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 I can feel it coming on. That I am starting to get a little bit sick, and yeah, I don't know, man. Also, I got a, I got a sign from God today about something. Yeah, it, it's it's a lot going on right now, man. I, all I can say is I definitely got a sign, and I definitely am taking heed to the warning that He gave me today. And I know He was speaking directly to me because I'm telling you, I've been on a spiritual journey here over the past couple weeks. I've been waking up on some other shit, so. You know, with that being said, we definitely got to chop it up about all this. Have y'all been keeping up with what's going on in the world, y'all? Have y'all been keeping up? You know, there's a war going on right now, right? Allegedly. Allegedly. And everything I say is alleged. And it's all under the Fair Use Act. And you can see the Fair Use disclaimer in the description of this video. And in the description of all my videos, this is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. Uh, this is just to educate my people on what we've been covering over here. Like I said, it's all under the Fair Use Act. I mean, excuse me. This is just for entertainment and educational purposes only. This is just to educate my people on what we've been covering over here. Like I said, it's all under the Fair Use Act. And you can see the Fair Use disclaimer in the description of this video. And everything I say is alleged. Allegedly. What's wrong, Sin? What they doing? What's going on in the chat? I don't even see. I ain't, I ain't seen nobody say nothing. Is everybody already tripping in the chat, man? Come on, y'all. We ain't even started the show yet. We haven't even started the show yet, but one thing that I do have is an open panel tonight. We are going to go over everything, but I'm going to do it a little bit different tonight, being that it's Saturday night. So I'm going to start switching the platform up on Saturdays is what I'm going to do. Y'all know we used to do like true crime Saturdays and stuff like that. I mean, we're going to cover content like we always do. So we're definitely going to get into some videos and all that stuff tonight. We are about to chop it up about everything that we've been covering over here. And I got some stuff for y'all, but I'm going to do it a little different tonight. I will do this while you are on the panel. So if anybody wants to call in and come up here and, 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 and chop this stuff up with me, you're more than welcome to. The uh, link is pinned to the top of the chat. If you see that little white box at the top of the chat, it might be blue, white. I don't know. I think it's white. 
it's white on my end. But if you see that white box at the top, it's a it's a StreamYard link. Uh, hit that StreamYard link. Put your username in your email. That's how you call it to the show. It's not a number. It'll say open panel tonight. Pull up. So if we if you do want to come chop it up at any point, you know what I'm saying anybody can come up here. Just the rules are when I'm running my content, you got to be quiet. But you know, and then whenever I ask for a little mini breakdown, you can't be long winded until the content is all the way over. If not, I'll just run it up here by myself like I always do. But if anybody wants to chime in, you more than welcome to stay up here all night with me. Anybody can come up here and hang out all night with me tonight. So that is going to be how we do it on Saturdays. I don't do this any other night, but I'll start doing it on Saturdays. So let's see. Let's see. Where are we at? Salute to Zarenia White for that membership. I appreciate you for getting that membership. Salute to Zarenia White for grabbing that uh tiny thug membership i appreciate you salute 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 and make sure if y'all want to support the channel dollar sign ratchet tv or send a super chat super sticker i appreciate all that uh love and support i appreciate all the love and support that y'all have been giving me but you know what i'm saying i think that um a, a lot of people i think a lot of people like drama and and uh how can i put this it's like the more chaos that's going around, the more people accept it. Uh, or I don't think many people want this world to become. How can I put this into words? I don't think a lot of people believe in God. I don't even think a lot of y'all believe God is real. And I'm not talking about just when I say y'all, I'm just speaking as a whole. I'm just speaking like I'm not directing this towards the chat. I'm not directing this towards anybody out there. I'm just saying like, oh, let me, I think people. I'm sorry. Sorry. I'm just uh, I'm getting sick. y'all. I don't think a lot of people believe in God. I don't think there's a lot of God talk going around. I don't think many people even care to hear his name. And I don't think a lot of people have felt his presence before, because if you have felt God's presence, you would know he's real and you would know like. Bro, the stuff Ratchet's saying, you could tell he's God has been talking to him. Something is something is different about Ratchet. Something is very, and it ain't off. Something is very on about me. I'm woke. And I've been seeing shit clear for a long time. I see I see things for exactly what they are. And I don't think I don't take life as a joke. I know what, what I know what's going on right in front of us. There's a whole war about to go on, and then they're about to cover it up with a rapper's death. Listen to me and mark my words. A rapper is going to get knocked off here within the next six months. I promise you that. You mark my words, that, and, I, and I'm saying six months, but it's probably going to be sooner than that. Salute to G for that 10 p super sticker. I appreciate you. Salute, salute. And being that all this, talk, I think we should have way more, because I ain't going to lie, man. We didn't have streams where we didn't. We talking about some bullshit over here and everybody is up in here super chatting away. We didn't have the screen flooded. When we talk about God, not so much, which is cool. I'll t Like I said, I'll sacrifice my payday for, you know what I'm saying, the message that I'm trying to give out. If you resonate, if the message resonates, then I mean, it does. If not, then hey, it's cool. I, I'm not here to change anybody. I'm not here to convert anybody to anything i'm not here to do none of this stuff i'm just here to give a message if the message gets received thank you thank you jesus if it doesn't hey it is what it is we know who you are that's all like i can say if you can't if you can't understand the message that i've been trying to get off for the past week or so then i know exactly who you are and like i said a lot of y'all don't believe in god hold on y'all my damn headphone got stuck all right yeah i i, I could just tell a lot of people do not and I repeat, do not believe in him, but it's OK. You're going to see when he touches you one day, when he touches your soul, you're going to see he's real. So y'all ready to get into this content tonight? Salute to everybody in the building. Are y'all ready to get into this content tonight? Who is ready? All right, let's see. Salute to the gang. Though. I appreciate y'all. Salute to uh, who threw up that five piece. I just seen somebody throw up a five piece. Hold on. Salute to Lions Den says sidebar. And snake, y'all. Uh huh? I don't even know what the hell you're talking about. I don't even know what the hell that's talking about. I'm just going to delete the damn message. I appreciate you for that. I don't know what the fuck that even meant or what you're talking about. I have no idea who none of those people are. But uh, salute to you. I appreciate you. All right. Uh, yeah. Well, what the fuck? Some people is crazy. Yes, it's crazy. I'm going to be real. All right. So y'all. 
Yo, man. Mods, don't let nobody get no shit off in this chat. Come on, mods. What, what are we doing tonight? Where are the mods? Don't let nobody get no shit off in this chat. I don't care if they send a super chat or not. We don't get no weird shit off on this, on this shit. Come on. But yeah, like I said, there's about to be a war and it's been brewing. And I've tried to warn y'all about this war for quite some time. And it's, it's taking place right in front of your eyes. And ain't nobody talking about it or paying attention to it. So let me open this up and let us talk about this. Let's chop it up, gang. Everybody get the likes up. Let's get to this content, man. Let us get to this content. I'm telling y'all, something is not right. Can you feel it? Before we start, it's all legends, all speculation, all my opinion. So I just got done watching my friend Colette's video where she caught the sun looking very odd and she believes we've been catapulted in the darkness. Now I'm about to show you her video in a minute, but when I was watching the eclipse the other day. Salute to Sweet D for that 10 piece McNugget. I appreciate you, Sweet D, thank you. A thought kept coming in my head and was like, something is in front of the sun. The eclipse looked completely different to me than it did to anyone else's cell phone. So I was like, okay, yeah, that's pretty odd. Until I watched her video on this. I will also prove to you allegedly that the sun we're looking at now is not the same sun we used to look at decades ago. And by the way, have y'all noticed it's been catastrophically windy ever since that happened? Has anybody else, and I kept asking, I, I ask this every day. Has anybody been feeling under the weather? Has anybody gotten sick? Has anybody been feeling strange? Does the sun look different to anybody? Is the moon look different to anybody? Has anybody noticed the weather has been crazy? Has anybody noticed that there has been like a a time lapse or it's some it's like ever since that eclipse something just is not right. And like I said to y'all, a lot of people were going to get sick and I'm one of them. I could feel it like I have a throat ache like a motherfucker. I'm starting to get like really, really tired, hot, cold. And I could just feel it like when I, I just took a nap, I was perfectly fine before I went to sleep. I've been outside all day. I've been outside all day. So once I got home, I ate and I went to sleep. And as soon as I woke up, I, I was sick. Like I could just feel it. Like I could tell, like probably by the time I wake up tomorrow, man, this the yeah. So if I start <laughs> you're me clearing my throat a lot in this, man, I'm I could just feel myself getting sick. I know how it feels right before I get sick and it's starting to yeah, I could just tell, like, I don't man, I don't like this shit at all. Salute to God's son for that 20 piece McNugget smash the like button as you enter the chat. Salute God's son. I appreciate that 20 piece. Thank you so much. Let's get back to it, gang. And uh, Dainty and Pris, I didn't even see you throw up that 20-piece. Salute, Dainty and Pris. I appreciate you for that 20-piece as well. Salute, Dainty and Pris. Let's continue. Along with a dark gloom over my head for days in a row. Along with CERN's Peter Higgs passing away on April 8th. So really quick before we dive deep, this was me recording the eclipse. And I kept thinking something was in front of the sun. And you can see the lens flares showing what time the eclipse was at. Like what part was being eclipsed. But all I saw was this super huge bright thing when everyone else, most people on cell phones caught it being eclipsed, depending on where they were. And that's exactly what I caught. I never caught an eclipse. I was filming the eclipse as well. And damn it, you know, what? I wish I had the timestamp on when my screen started glitching. If anybody knows the timestamp, let me know on that video that I did when I did the eclipse. I've been meaning to show it. I caught some weird shit on my camera. I need to go back and, and revisit that. If I, if not, I'll do it tomorrow. Don't worry about it. I'll do it tomorrow. But I did I did notice some weird shit on my camera too. Salute Leash for that 20 piece. I appreciate you. Hey, my mod's showing out. Salute to the mods, man. Salute, salute, salute. I love y'all. Salute. Uh, But I caught some weird stuff. My screen started glitching. You could see the sun getting bigger and smaller. You could see an extra dot on my screen. It was some weird stuff in the sky. And my as the eclipse started happening, everybody else was seeing an eclipse, and my screen was just glitching, as if I was going. Uh, how can I show you? Like it was like, let me show y'all something real quick. My screen was doing this. It was like going in and out, 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 just like that. You could see the sun just doing this. I just want to show y'all. You know, I got that uh, zoom in joint on my shit. You know, <laughs> let's get back to the video. You can see from the lens flares, it was almost a total solar eclipse at this point. And the sky was still bright. All legend, in my opinion. And now let's go see what Colette was saying. 
this is my backyard, here's the sun, and here's that ominous glow globe that we always get when we do videos, which is literally just a reflection of the sun that floats around, but it's a reflection of the exact sun. Imagine my shock and surprise when I zoomed in on it and I found this. Yeah, those are some whole lot of geometric patterns. That is the reflection of that sun. And Bible prophecies are unfolding right before our eyes. The sun is black as hot cloth. The moon is not giving us light. We should open the key to the bottomless pit, to open the portal. So do y'all do y'all feel like we've opened the key has the key been opened to the bottomless pit has the portal been opened onto this world are there different beings onto the on this world right now with us do y'all feel like something happened that day and there's been a portal open and we are now into darkness salute to lady nye 82 salute big ratchet keep up the great work god is definitely real yeah he is definitely he is definitely real and he if he has ever put his hands on you you know damn well salute 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 i appreciate you oh that was a 25 piece salute my bad you know you be throwing them 25s up salute to you is the enemy of the sun disc and his mission his job is to well devour the sun here's one of the pictures i got of the sun in the sun that is the sun's reflection okay and now uh, i discovered something even more eerie not only is its reflection got those geometric shapes in it so does the sun look close I around with the contrast of the brightness. Now, this is the sun you know if you're over 20 years old from a few decades ago. This was the sun we had. It was orange. It was not white. It was not LEDs. It was orange. This was recorded in 2000. Is it possible the sun in the sky is not the real sun? I've showed y'all my recordings of the crescent powering the sun. Salute to Miriam. Uh, psychic medium says salute ratchet share the live gang get the likes up salute that's your 10th super on the live stream salute miriam i appreciate you and again we had that crazy anomaly coming from antarctica allegedly right this this huge vortex of energy this thing in the sky in china like things are weird and like i said we've had non-stop wind storms for days ever since the 8th and right now we're being bombarded by ufo footage bombarded and this is another thing. Why is it that everybody is covering UFOs? I'm not covering, excuse me. Why is everybody exposing the fact that there's UFOs everywhere? And I'm not asking, like, why are they doing it? I'm saying, like, why is it? Like, have you noticed, like, everybody is doing this? But th there is something else that... How can I put this? There's a reason why people don't take the UFO shit serious. And I know there's only two letters you can type into the chat. To, and that's and I've been telling y'all this is going to be the downfall of our entire nation is these two letters. And I've been telling y'all that be careful because this is the most scary thing that we've ever witnessed. Tyra Rowe, salute on that five piece McNugget. I appreciate you for that five piece, Tyra. Salute, salute, salute. Nah, but why is nobody taking the uh, well, I just damn near said it. <laughs> why is nobody taking the damn UFO series? I just fucked up and gave y'all the damn answer. So if you don't get it now, then it is what it is. Y'all just AI, there you go. So trollific. AI, AI technology is the reason why nobody takes the UFO shit serious. Have y'all noticed when people are live streaming and they're showing you, oh my god, there's something in the sky? Everybody's like, that's fucking AI, man. Everybody worried about that. And then if somebody does anything these days, it's like, oh, it's AI. And completely off subject. What is that girl's name? The Bobby chick. The she's a Caucasian lady. She's like a dry sense of humor. Bobby Ashnoff. Some I can't remember her damn name. But even when her little her little video dropped, and it was supposed to be her like in a you know what I'm saying a porn type thing, whatever. And then they was like, no, that's not her. That's AI. It's like, but how the? But they don't like I said. They don't need people no more. Salute to uh cancer 66 i've seen a couple of unexplainable things not only did i take pics i also resort i also resorted them i also resorted them when i went back to review them they were gone what the hell that's okay let me tell you something about what you just said salute to you for that uh 10 piece by the way but i also had some stuff in my phone that i was going to expose and i completely forgot about it till you just put that i had some stuff in my phone about all this and i was going to expose it and I saved it to my phone, not sent it. I saved it to my phone and sent it to myself. When I went back on that show that night, I was wondering like, where the fuck was those videos that I had? And I had like two videos that I really wanted to show y'all, but I, I I looked back and I was like, I know I sent all my all this shit to myself. So not only was it not in my receipt folder, I went back to my phone and it wasn't there. Like I never saved it to my phone. I was like, wait, what? And I just, I never thought about it. I was like, man, maybe I'm tripping. Maybe I just, maybe I forgot. But I know for a fact I did not forget. But, hey, let's continue. Like, there's something crazy that's allegedly about to happen. Allegedly speculation. 
And freaking meanwhile, the Pentagon has been suggesting that there is an alien mothership in the solar system that could be sending many probes to Earth. I'm telling y'all, it gets deep. But what on earth is the point of the mothership, mothership in the allegedly about to happen, allegedly speculation. And freaking meanwhile, the Pentagon has been suggesting that there is an alien mothership in the solar system that could be sending many probes to earth. Pentagon officials suggest alien mothership in our solar system could send many probes to earth. What the fudge? What in the heck is that? Come on, y'all. We got 2.3 in the room. There's no reason we shouldn't have way more than 500 likes. Come on, everybody in the building. Hit the like button. It's free. You ain't got to spend no time hitting that like button. Smash that like button. I'm telling y'all, it gets deep. But what on earth is the point of the mothership and the UFOs? This right here, it gets really deep. In a very, very, very old certain kind of Bible, it says that Jerusalem is the center of the world. Jerusalem, like this, Rupus Negra or Mount Zion being in the center of the earth. But who lives in the center of the earth? Maybe whoever built this world for us just a couple hundred years ago who were building tens of thousands of square foot buildings with no back mothership. Listen to this again. And the UFOs. This right here, it gets really deep. In a very, very, very old certain kind of Bible, it says that Jerusalem is the center of the world. Jerusalem, like this, Rupus Negra or Mount Zion being in the center of the earth. But who lives in the center of the earth? Maybe whoever built this world for us just a couple hundred years ago who were building tens of thousands of square foot buildings with no bathrooms and no kitchens. Like I said, it gets deep. Stay tuned for part two. Until then, tell me why there's paintings of people riding dinosaurs just a couple hundred years ago. And was it 1600 or J600? The reason there's so much happening right now and so much being uncovered is because you are in the Great Awakening because you are in the end of the lot of days. On part two, we'll get into my opinion on why we have a mothership in this solar system. And you're not going to like the answer. Man, 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 man. What do we have here, Ratchet Gang? There is some weird stuff going on in this world, and we have to talk about it, gang. We have to talk about this. Let us continue. Let us continue. I'm not done with this, y'all. Let's go. Y'all, this is getting bad. The Iron Dome defense system has failed, and this is Israel. They're being attacked by, like, every single angle there is. Hezbollah, Iran, even the Houthis are sending missiles at them right now. What is going on in Israel, y'all? Have y'all heard about this? Has anybody in, in the building actually heard about what's going on in Israel right now. Like I told y'all, there's about to be some catastrophic events. There's going to be some craziness going on in this world. There is going to be a war in the physical realm, in the spiritual realm. It's going to be physical versus spiritual. There are things out here that cannot be explained anymore. We cannot explain what the fuck is going on. It's just going to be chaos. It's going to be chaos. I got somebody backstage. Hold on. Let me see who the hell this is. I don't even know who this is. Hold on. Let me see who this is. One second, y'all. I don't know who the hell this is. Give me one second. Hold on. How can I help you? What's up, Ratchet, man? I've been a fan for a long time, man. Um, my baby mama just uh, told me her homegirl called her from work. Just mm -hmm. seen 20, 25 blue lights fly across the city and disappear. She saw 25 blue lights fly across the city and disappear. And disappear. I mean, text our kind of Texas. And what wh was she like on the highway? What, what was going on? No, she was at work. She was at work, and everybody at work seen it, seen them in the sky. So they all ran outside to try to see what it was. And they just called her and let her know. They didn't take pictures. No, nah, I'm trying. I just asked on Facebook, did anybody else see it? So I'm trying to get more. You know what I'm saying? Info and video on it now. All right. If you get it, send it to me. Salute. All right. Salute. So Texarkana, Texas, there is something going on out there. 25 blue lights in the sky. We're going to get back into this. Somebody going to send me that. I know it. 
let's continue. Did, did anybody else see that? I don't know if anybody else heard about that. They said any one video. That's what I was wondering. Salute to Nicole Harris for that five piece. It says conspiracy said they protected us against nuclear during WW2. Now are they back to protect us again for three and against cows methane? Interesting. Let's continue. Let's continue, Nicole. I was pretty sure their Iron Dome was not going to be able to compete with everything that was coming. So the Iron Dome, allegedly no more. Salute, brown skin girl, for that 10 piece. I appreciate you. Salute, salute, salute. All of Israel is red right now. All of it. And it's just getting started. Waves are still being sent as we speak. Not just Jordan, but now Egypt has closed its airspace. And guess whose planes are flying in right now to assist and aid and help Israel? Britain, of course. It would be, right? A NATO ally, of course. The longer this goes on, the worse it's going to get because there is so much headed their way. that This is nothing yet. And so far, 40 Israelis have passed away due to the conflict which just started. This is insane. The Israeli people were acting fine until they found out that the Iron Dome was not going to protect them from everything that was coming their way. What is going on in Israel right now, y'all? Can somebody tell me what is going on in Israel? You know, I'm watching live cameras all over Israel. It's very quiet everywhere. Uh, it said, turn up the volume on the video. There is, I know you can hear it. If the If the volume is good on the video, Drop something that lets me know. Drop the gems right now. Drop something to let me know because I know for a fact the volume ain't low. I know for a fact the volume ain't low on the damn video. Let me see. Let me just play it like this on my damn phone. Let me see. Because y'all just be bullshitting in here. Y'all just be bullshitting in here. Keep that a buck. Y'all motherfuckers be bullshitting. Hold on. Is the, is the volume good, y'all? Let me know if the volume is good. Is it? Okay. They saying it's good. I knew it. Everybody's being here bullshit. This was at the very beginning when the Iron Dome was still trying to keep up with all the stuff. Now, Iran said, if Israel does not retaliate, it'll be over. Well, guess what? The Israeli leaders got together right after that happened and already said they'd be doing a swift retaliatory strike against Iran. This is going to get a lot worse. You might as well bookmark this video because in the history books, in the future, when we look back at this WW111, what we're going to see is this date right here at the beginning. In history, they vote with all the stuff. Now, Iran said, if Israel does not retaliate, it'll be over. Well, guess what? The Israeli leaders got together right after that happened and already said they'd be doing a swift retaliatory strike against Iran. This is going to get a lot worse. You might as well bookmark this video because in the history books, in the future, when we look back at this WW111, what we're going to see is this date right here at the beginning. Man, 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 man. Israel under attack. This is, could this be the beginning of the end or the beginning of the new world order? Which one is it? Is this the beginning of the end or is this the beginning of the new world order? Can someone tell me? Is this the beginning of the end or the beginning of the new world order? Or both? Or both? I don't know. Y'all tell me. Could it be both? Ah, shit. I don't know, man. I just know that we called all this stuff over here. We said that this was going to happen. I told y'all, hey, something big was about to happen. After CERN did what they did, I said, there's no way you can delay this now. There's no way. It's coming. There's something big planned, and they all knew that this was going to happen. Allegedly. Allegedly, y'all. Let's see. They're saying that they're saying it's going to be WW3. I see a lot of people saying, bro, this is WW3, bro. This is WW3. Something going on, man. WW3 is in the mix. We got 4,000 people over here, y'all. Let's get these likes up. We got to get these likes up. There is more going on in this world than, than meets the eye. We have to talk about this stuff. Nobody else is talking about this stuff, y'all. Nobody else is talking about this stuff. Hold on. I got somebody backstage. Let's see who this is. What's going on, outlaws? Hey, hey, how you doing? What's going on, Ratchet? What's going on? How can I help you? Oh, no. I, I ain't know what, what time to answer. What time are you going to open the panel up? 
I mean, it's it's open if you got something to say. I'm just running my content. I'm still gonna be playing my videos and stuff. You uh, okay. you got something you want to add or you want to wait? No, I'm gonna be quick, man. I respect the panel. I respect your audience. Um, uh, just wanted to point out in the midst of all this CERN stuff, um. You know, what I find real funny that no one's speaking about is that we have a new military branch that's not being brought up, and that's the U.S. Space Force, which was started a week after COVID was announced by Trump. Now don't say the, the C word. Just say 19. Just say 19. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, the whole thing is, if we got NASA already, what do we need a Space Force for? And I'm starting to wonder, is CERN some kind of um, biblical, you know, Tower of Babel, so to speak, I, I'm I'm really starting to think that you know the end is coming near and they're getting they gearing up to try to fight against the most high when that time comes. And as far as the eclipse, um just want to point out that it wasn't just a regular eclipse, it was a total eclipse, seven years apart. And in between those seven years, we had that C word and we had 2019, which would make 400 years of slavery in America. Time Magazine ran an article on January 1st of 2019 to commemorate African Americans inside America for 400 years. And why is that important? According to the Bible in Deuteronomy chapter 28, we were under a 400-year curse. So this sign, this eclipse that, that occurred was a sign in the sky, and it was an X. But in Hebrew, that X means it's the sign of Tav, T-A-V which is the most high's name. He literally stamped his name on the country. And that was a warning for, um, you know, the part of the, the, the whole thing of the curse was that we will be slaves for 400 years. And after the 400 years, he will come to redeem us as he promised. And the nation that enslaved us, he will punish. So this eclipse- right, Hold on, hold on, hold on. I, I want to hold that thought. Everybody on the panel, mute okay. your mics. I got to get back to the content. Mute your mics. And I'm going to play this and we'll get right back to it. Just hold that thought. Hold that thought. Listen up, guys. All right, y'all. Unfortunately, it's going down. I've been watching this for days and now it's time. Iran is officially on the offensive and they have shot 50 to 102 waves so far of unaliving drones. This is all legend. It's all speculation, all my opinion, based on the news. And we have Netanyahu over here lying to his people saying that, oh, we're good. Our defense is strong. We have a lot of people. Thank you for our allies like the U.S. that have our back even though that every country in the Middle East has taken away our right to be there. So we can't even help them even if we wanted to. Mm. Man, man, man. So now they want to throw us into the mix, but they, you know, they're not going to be able to get shit popping if America don't join in this shit. So by throwing us in this mix, what does that mean, y'all? What does that mean by throwing America into this mix? But does that stop the U.S.? Of course not, because we have to be involved in everything. We are already sending refueling tankers over Iraq right now. And literally just yesterday, the U.S. was bringing their Eisenhower nuclear carrier closer to Israel. A lot of stuff is about to happen really fast. And we had Biden abruptly end his trip to Delaware because of this stuff going on right now. He's probably just going to get in the bunker because he knows that Iran said if we get involved, that we are the target. Biden has abruptly ended his Delaware trip to address the intensifying threat of an Iranian attack on Israel. He reportedly has called an emergency National Security Council meeting. We are devoted to the defense of what we do. So y'all see it's a state of emergency now. national, a national security council meeting there's a there's some shit going on there's gonna be an emergency in the world right now not only are up to a hundred unliving drones going over there just so far they've already said two waves scratch that a fourth wave i haven't even posted yet things are moving way too quick they're also sending a ton a ton hundreds of ballistic missiles and right before they started shooting them off massive power outage in israel and at the same time they've also had their <laughs> radar systems hacked and Diane was actually able to call this two hours before it happened because the unusual way the planes were flying over the Ronald Reagan Washington National Airport. So good job. Dozens of Iranian launched drones are en route to Israel. Now we. For some reason, people are happy about this. And Jordan knew because they closed their airspace about one hour before. And don't forget, Biden and our whole Congress has pledged to stand with Israel. Hey, uh, raw truth. The look, bro, you gotta stop trolling, fam. You gotta stop the trolling in my chat, fam. Like, my mods ain't gonna put up with it. 
No trolling. And Iran stated that they will make the U.S. a target if so. That's why yesterday every nation was having their citizens leave that area. And notice it said to leave both Israel and Iran. Don't forget this is Hamas, Hezbollah, and the Syrian army, and the Houthis all against Israel. This is going to get nasty. Wow, and right when I mention Hezbollah, I see this pop up. They declare the start of the operations against Israel at the same time, 3-3-3, three, three, three. it's very tough. I mean, the clues were all around us, especially when we look at what's possibly Netanyahu fleeing from Israel. Don't forget what I showed you yesterday. All nations were picking sides the last three days. The last three days, every nation has been picking a side, and they're telling you, you better pick a side and stay there. They telling you you better pick a side and stay there. Who is this calling in? I think the king do king do you back. What's good? What's up, Ratchet Man? I just put a link in the uh chat. It won't let me send it directly to you, but I put the link in the chat. One of my partners video camera. Okay, can you send it to me on Instagram? I don't have an Instagram, my boy. You, uh can you email it to me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My email is ratchet tv media at gmail.com. Ratchet TV Media at Gmail, bet. Let me put it on the screen so you can let me put it on the screen real quick so you can get this. Hold on, hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Let me put this on the screen so you can get it. And folks. Right. Ratchet TV Media at gmail.com. All right, here it go right here. You can screenshot this and save it. Here you go, right here. Send it to me on uh my email. All right, bet. I'll be back. All right, salute. All right, go ahead. Did y'all want to add anything to what y'all just saw? That's how you call me. He said, "Add something." He said, "What?" Hello. Uh, oh, hello. Can I? Yeah, I just want to say something. Can you hear me? Yeah, go ahead. I just want to know, like, because I've been—I mean, I just got hip to you. I just been watching you, but I'm—I'm I'm so awoke to everything. But I just want to know, like, what, like, what about that alien shit that happened in Miami and shit? Like, is that like you think that's? Got something to do with some shit too, like. I mean, all this stuff is is lined up, but they've been warned. They've been preparing us for this. It's about to. It's gonna be a huge attack, man, coming up here real soon, y'all. It's gonna be a huge attack, and we're not done covering this shit. We got more to talk about. Uh, let me see. I'm gonna bring y'all back. Up and, I'm gonna bring y'all back up in just a second. I'm gonna bring y'all back up. Y'all just hang out backstage. I'll bring y'all back up as soon as I'm done with all this. Give me one second. Give me one second, y'all. I'll bring y'all back up in one second. We're not done. I want to cover the rest of this so they could. I want I want to talk about some more of this real quick. Give me a second. Give me one second, y'all. Let's get to this next video. Let's get to this next one. Salute to everybody in the chat, man. We got 4.3 in the room. DJ Smoke One sent me a 20 piece better late than never. Salute, gang. Uh, salute. I appreciate you. I appreciate you for that 20 piece. Salute, salute, DJ Smoke One. It's about to get a whole lot rougher for humanity. It looks like they finally have a date, allegedly, to sacrifice the red cow. It says Israeli submit request to police to allow an altar and knife to slaughter red cows on the 22nd at Al Aska Mosque. And in one second, I'll show you something extremely weird that happened when the eclipse happened. But this is Al Aska Mosque. It sits right where the second temple, Solomon's temple, was. I have a feeling God is not going to like this. What we're about to see is of biblical proportions. At the same exact time, we have Israel taking soldiers out of Gaza because they are about to be attacked by Iran. And while this is happening, other countries are already picking sides because they know this is going to change the world. And this behind me is when the leader of Hamas just found out that his three children were unalived. Man, three children were unalived. And like I said, bro, they taking out people, they sacrifice and stuff. They said they got to get a cow and an altar and some knives and the red heifer. And man, are y'all did not tell y'all that we was about to have a spiritual war. It's going to be spiritual versus physical. This is now the time where you're going to see physical versus spiritual. Come on. Damn, I got my shit blown. Y'all always blow me up as soon as I'm live. Y'all don't talk to me all day until I go live. Right, Bratchett, I need you need to see this. You should have showed me that. 12 hours ago 13 hours ago <laughs> no nah, i love y'all salute to y'all but as you see right here remember i was telling y'all about the red heifer and i was telling y'all about all this stuff that's coming now i have been the crazy part about all this is i have been covering everything that we're witnessing i've been telling y'all this is coming everything that's going on i keep telling y'all this is about to happen now mark my words when i say ai technology and CGI allegedly are going to create 
an alien invasion. An alien invasion is going to... Hold on, let me tell this motherfucker I'm live, man, because you just keep sending me shit. I'm live, stop. Hold on, stop sending me stuff right now. I cannot work and get my... Hold on, please stop sending me stuff. I, I, I'm live right now. You're sending me link after link after link. I can't check none of that stuff out right now. I can't check none of that stuff out right now. I'm live. Please, let me work. I appreciate you, though, but you got to catch me at a better time than that. Conflict. This is when he found out his children had just got taken out. He just found out his children got unalived. Could you even imagine? And when the eclipse happened a couple days ago, there was someone watching the Wendy app, and right when it happened, this giant vortex just randomly opened up, allegedly near Antarctica. I'm gonna document this very weird anomaly taking place on Ventu Sky. I don't know what this blob is here. Remember, we was covering this last night about what happened in Antarctica, and they cannot explain what's going on in Antarctica right now. And Antarctica is one of the biggest mysterious places that we have. Nobody knows nothing about Antarctica. We we still trying to figure out what the fuck is going on in Antarctica other than that's where y'all hiding the other side of the world at. Y'all hiding the shit over there. Y'all know what, what the hell is over there, but y'all won't tell us. It's coming from what looks like Antarctica. If we backtrack a little bit, you're going to see it disappear and reappear on the screen. So we move into Monday the 8th, which was obviously three days ago. Watch as we move into Tuesday. This mass pops up with waves of 83.7 feet in height. What in God's name is this thing moving out of Antarctica, as you can see, and then it moves up the coast of Africa into the Atlantic Ocean. Watch this as we move into Wednesday the 10th, Thursday the 11th, which is today. This is going on right now. I don't know if these waves are actually hitting the coast coast or this is some sort of glitch in the system but i've never seen anything like this this giant blob is showing 83.7 foot waves this does not seem to be any sort of storm system let me zoom back out here you're right it wasn't a storm system it's a massive blob of energy that was conjured by maybe allegedly and we can see that this massive conjured blob of energy is the thing that was screwing with the schumann frequency when the resonance of the earth was disappearing the day after the eclipse. Things are getting weird. Man, 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 man. Things are starting to get very, very weird. It's starting to get real weird tonight, y'all. I, I don't know how to explain this stuff. I don't know how to explain it. But the only thing that I can say is we are definitely under attack. And this is spiritual. This is all coming because people went messing with God. When you go messing with God, the God particle, whatever you want to, whatever, you're going to mess with the creator. You're going to mess with the wrong thing. I think people went barking up the wrong tree and they didn't, they finna fuck around and find out exactly the wrath of God. They finna find out real, real soon what, what it's like going to mess with God's creation. And I've been telling y'all, man, these people, they, they will not stop. They won't stop until they try. They trying to get the power of God. And I'm going to bring y'all up in just a minute. I'm going to bring y'all up. Let's continue. Let's see the truth about the truth about the black knight. Hold on. Let me get back over here. The truth about the black knight satellite. Let's read this. It says uh, this video here are the creative. Oh, no. I thought they was going to have a. All right, it's all good. Let's listen to this. Let's listen to this. Hold on. I've been there for 13... Let's go back. That thousand years and we've got some close-up hd photos of this thing that are gonna blow your mind this object they discovered around our planet back in the 50s and is apparently still orbiting us to this day this thing may just be our first sign of what's to come and has been dubbed the black knight satellite it's a confirmed object documented by nasa and we've since been told that it's just space junk a discarded thermal cover which granted it might be but today we're asking the question what if it's not it's rumored to be an artificial satellite and apparently has been there since 11 11 thousand bc but what a artificial satellite that has been there since 11 b c now that makes absolutely zero sense you telling me they got an artificial satellite that's been sitting there since 11 bc does anybody oh, come on man. what in the hell
What's really crazy is that this Black Knight satellite was initially detected back in 1954, three years before humanity's first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, went into orbit. And the Black Knight satellite was found to be in a polar orbit, meaning it goes north. There's this unknown 15 ton south, while debris and space junk are expected to follow the rotation of our planet. Polar orbits also happen to be the preferred orbital path for reconnaissance, covering the most amount of ground and ideal for an invading species. Then in 1998, NASA's STS-88 mission did a direct flyby and got this incredible high definition photo of it. I don't know about you, but that sure doesn't look like no thermal blanket to me. It's even emitting its own radio signal, which the NSA, many astronomers around the world, and even ham radio operators all independently came up with the same decoding of that signal. This radio signal is allegedly emitting a message, more specifically a map a star map of the constellation Buotis, with the only star out of place in this map being Epsilon Buotis, indicating that that may have been the origin star of this satellite. The position of the stars in this map was also slightly off from where they are now, but would match perfectly with our star positions 13,000 to south while debris in space years ago, leading to believe that's when the satellite arrived. Epsilon Buotis is also a very special star system. There's a strange phenomenon there called the Buotis Void, which esteemed theoretical physicists around the world all confirmed that light appears to be getting bent around that area, far too big to be a black hole, some of whom suggest that it can even be an advanced civilization, using cloaking technology to keep themselves hidden from observers, like us, years ago, leading to- Man, 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 what do y'all think about that shit? The Black Knight Satellite. The Black Knight Satellite. What the hell, y'all? says the world we are living in is not real and here's proof man 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 what is going on here y'all what is this you see this shit on it what, what the hell is going on y'all what is going on here? See, all this stuff is starting to get uncovered, man. People are starting to wake up and not give a fuck. They just starting like, hey, man, that's a, that's a model setup. <sighs> yeah, y'all always got the answers, don't you? Always, right? Let's continue. That's a model setup, too, right there we're looking at. There's, there's another model setup. So look at this. This video shows what looks to be a dark, what looks to be a dark mass floating mid-air above the water, separate from the other clouds above it. The Sydney man who filmed the uh, the site suggested it looks like liquid metal and believed it wasn't a cloud. The video uh, garnered thousands of comments from people equally intrigued, with many sharing their thoughts. Some said the unusual, unusual mass resembled a UFO, while others said it was likely just air pollution. Many drew comparisons to a Dementor, Dementor uh, from the Harry Potter series, which is a dark soul-like figure that would glide through the air. But most concluded the mass was in fact scud cloud, a type of cloud that appears at low height above the ground. It usually detached uh, from the irregular in the irregular form. What do you think about this, man? There ain't no damn cloud. I'm gonna be real. I ain't never seen no cloud look like this. I have never witnessed a cloud look like this before. What the hell is this, man? And this is out there in in Sydney. I guess that's another little, uh, little, little, you know what I'm saying? I guess y'all got, I guess y'all got an excuse for that one too. I guess y'all gonna have an excuse for that one too. At the warhead. So this thing fires a beam of light at the warhead, hits it, fires another beam of light, and then flies out the way it came in. And the warhead tumbles out of the, out of space. At the warhead. 
So this thing fires a beam of light at the warhead, hits it, fires another beam of light, and then flies out the way it came in. So it says the U.S. military has video footage of a UFO disabling a nuclear warhead during a planned test. <laughs> what are the what are y'all answers for that one? It's people that got answers for everything. Let's see what the answers are for this one. There, the U.S. military has video footage of a U.S. Yes, U.S. UFO disabling a nuclear warhead during a planned test. And the warhead tumbles out of the out of space at the warhead. So this thing fires a beam of light at the warhead, hits it, fires another beam of light, and then flies out the way it came in. Man, 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 man. What the hell was that, y'all? They said they expect us to believe that ish. They said it's you that's got the answers. And it says we're mice fighting a gorilla. Atari UFO ain't gonna uh, allow nukes ever. It says, looks like Venom. Maybe it wasn't a test. They are covering their butts. That's crazy. It looks like it has a face. The F. And it says, they are trying to save our dumb A's. All nuclear sites have had some type of contact. They said, that's the movie type of ish. You can exit. Yeah, we don't. We ain't doing no tripping over here. If anybody don't, you know what I'm saying, like the whatever you can, you can do. This ain't for you. We ain't doing no tripping. Let's continue. Okay, all day today. It's about one in the afternoon. Now Sky watch this. Okay, so it's for all the round earthers, I got some for y'all. You ain't gonna be able to say nothing about this one. Now watch this. I've been telling y'all about the chemtrails. Whoop de whoop de whoop. Now what is your answer for what I'm about to show y'all now? Been crystal clear. Okay, crystal clear. Planes flying across the sky all day long, but now all of a sudden, what you're about to witness. Okay, they all are starting to come now. Crisscross applesauce all up in here. You're gonna see what's gonna happen to these crystal clear blue skies. Planes have been flying all day. And then all of a sudden, these guys. Boy, that's kind of weird. It's getting a little hazy two hours later. It's so strange. It's like, it's like, why wasn't it hazy earlier with all the planes flying and now it's hazy? Because the temperature hasn't changed. That's weird. And there it is at the end of the day. A nice overcast. Southern Utah. Oh. Mm. Just <laughs> breathe it in. Let's watch okay, it one more all time. All day today. It's about one in the afternoon. Skies have been crystal clear. Okay, crystal clear. Planes flying across the sky all day long. But now, all of a sudden, what you're about to witness, okay, they all are starting to come now. Crisscross applesauce all up in here. You're going to see what's going to happen to these crystal clear blue skies, okay? Remember, planes have been flying all day. And then all of a sudden, these guys. Boy, that's kind of weird. It's getting a little hazy two hours later so strange it's like it's like why wasn't it hazy earlier with all the planes flying and now it's hazy because the temperature hasn't changed that's weird and there it is at the end of the day a nice overcast southern utah a nice nice overcast out there in southern utah oh man you gotta love it though right you got to love this shit. You have got to love the fact that this is going on, right? You I mean, look at the sky; it's beautiful, right? Ain't that what y'all? I mean, it's beautiful, right? <laughs> it says that they f up our food and water. Hell, you can't even breathe fresh air no more. That's what I'm saying. I wouldn't breathe some fresh air today. Now I'm sick. They said they use several different spraying system, uh, even at night. Liquid ice is more effective uh, when the sun sets. Makes it colder tomorrow they said blocking out the sun they said look they said man just look the other way man this is some weird stuff like i said man now explain this for all those round earthers out there explain that if they not fucking with us explain that this is what i just showed yeah i just okay i sent it to myself twice let's continue you have been this one got the music and i ain't gonna play it but i just want y'all to see this you have been warned how many suns are on the earth y'all look at this 
Remember, they've been they've been putting this in your face. They've been putting this in your face, man. They said, how many sons are there, man? They've been showing y'all this whole time, man. They've been showing y'all this whole time. Welcome to the fifth dimension. Welcome to the fifth dimension, y'all. Oh, man. Man, 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 man. They've been trying to put this in our face this whole time. Oh, yeah, still got the music playing. I don't want to play the music. But look at this shit, man. As you look at this, how can you explain this shit? How can you explain this and, and still with a straight face be like, nah, bro, see, y'all all tripping, man. It's a round earth and everything. All y'all all y'all is just crazy, man. It's one son. And what, how can you explain all this? How can you explain this? Man, 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 man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Boom. What is this? How do you explain that? You can't you can't just blame everything on CGI and AI. You can't just blame everything on technology, man. But that's what they want you to do. They want everybody to believe AI and CGI will do will do because when they when they do different shit, they're gonna be like, and they want to cover it up. They're gonna be, oh no, that wasn't real. That was AI. Like when you see Biden sitting there talking about the project Blue Beam, everyone says that's that's AI, man. That's not real. Of course it's AI, right? Right, right. Everything they want covered up is AI until it's real AI and you think it's real. Does that make sense? Like when they throw an invasion out there and say, oh my gosh, look in the sky. Y'all see all them beams and stuff going? That's them fucking with us with the CGI. They fucking with the firmament because it's like a big ass plasma TV up there. It's like a huge plasma TV and they know that. All they need to do is finesse us. Man, I ain't falling for this bullshit. Look at this shit. Look at this. You can't make this stuff up, man. They've been telling you. Even MasterCard been telling you, welcome to the fifth dimension, y'all. Welcome to the fifth dimension. How many suns does the earth have? What is Nibiru? Let's talk about it. Stay tuned. But no, Nibiru, Planet X. Why they don't talk about Planet X no more? And there's a crow storm in Texas. I told y'all the other day about the crows. I told y'all the other day about all these crows that we would be seeing. It's a, it, these animals have been acting very strange. I said, that's true. China, uh, trying to harvest hydrogen facts. Learned about Nibiru in 2012. Yep. It says, because sun dogs are normal. I've seen one with my own eyes. Salute, vibrate. Get ready to hit that link. It said, Hitchcock-ish. Somebody is about to croak. Nibiru is an ancient deity god of destruction and darkness. It's really three suns. Back in 2012, when the world was supposed to be, be out of here, they said the animals know. They said this is a residual lesser magic. Uh, all the stuff that's in Revelation is happening. Get close to God. I've been trying to explain to people, get as close as you can to God to stop thinking life is for play play. People are starting to think life is a joke and life is for play play, but it's not. Let's continue. It says, uh, reports claim something massive left Antarctica during our solar storm. During a solar storm, to document this very weird anomaly. And I, and I showed y'all this the other day. I showed y'all this the other day that shit was going on and they found this shit in Antarctica and nobody this, could explain it. Tomorrow, and there's a there's a solar the storm. That has been taking place out there in the world in Here's Antarctica. They're not minute, talking again, about it. I showed y'all this the other day. Truth they cannot explain what the hell is going on in Antarctica, and they haven't even covered this shit. They're covering it up. Pilot captures super rare gigantic jet land lighting phenomenon. Let's let's watch this. That's what the gigantic jet phenomenon is extremely rare and powerful form of upper. Uh, atmospheric lighting and extends from the top of the thunderstorms into the lower levels in the ionosphere 37 to 190 miles 60 to 300 kilometers above the earth's surface unlike more well-known uh sprites uh, which 
are also upper atmospheric electrical discharges. Gigantic jets are more powerful and reach higher into the atmosphere. These electrical discharges originate from the tops of the thunderclouds and can stretch upwards for 50 miles, 80 kilometers, effectively bridging the space between the storm clouds and the edge of space. First recorded in 2001, gigantic jets are part of a group transient uh luminous events uh that are still fully they're still not fully understood but are thought to play a role in the electrical balance between the earth's surface and the ionosphere now look at this shit y'all going up to the edge of space look at this shit Look at this shit, y'all. There's been some weird sightings around the world, man. That's all I can say. There's been some very weird sightings around this world here recently, man. Something big is coming. I don't understand why you have to pay to live on a planet you were born on. And then, I mean, it's such a simple question, and it's haunted me ever since. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? Ask yourself that question. Why do we have to pay to live on a planet we were born on? And who are we actually paying for the privilege of being alive here? Who made them the boss? Who put them in charge? You know? Think about that. And can anybody answer that question? Why the hell do you have to pay for someone you were... What is the point of it? I, I I never thought about that question until here recently. I'm like, man, that's a very good fucking question. Why do we have to pay to live on Earth? Let's see. What the heck is that mysterious figure, y'all? They said, what the heck is that mysterious figure? Is that a spirit or an elemental being? What do you think about this? What is this, y'all? Is that a spirit or an elemental being? Look at this. What is this, y'all? What in the hell is that? Can anybody in the building tell me what we looking at right here? Look at this. I'm going to let that play for a little bit. What What is this that we are looking at right here? Man, 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 man. It's some weird shit going on, y'all. They said it's a spirit. And you find this in the wildest places where people don't normally film. Look at that. Where people are not normally filming stuff that you see this type of shit out in the in the world, man. Like these things exist. And of course, someone's gonna be like, oh man, that's CGI, that's fake, man. Hey, no, nah, man, these things exist in this world, but we're not paying attention to the obvious signs around us that something big is is coming, something is out there, and it can't be explained. Something big is coming and something big is out there, and it cannot be explained. I noticed that thing in the air. Uh, I can try to zoom in on it as best as I can, but yeah, it's not really clear what it is. Um, it's not moving. It's kind of like suspended in the air. Uh, there is no string at all. There's no string underneath it. That's not a balloon. I don't know what that is, but... You can see it. I'm going to zoom in right there underneath it. There's no string whatsoever. And this thing is literally hovering above this community. I noticed that thing in the air. Uh, I can try to zoom in on it as best as I can. But, yeah, it's not really clear what it is. Um, it's not moving. It's kind of like suspended in the air. Uh, there is no string at all there's no string underneath it that's not a balloon i don't know what that is but you can see it i'm gonna zoom in right there underneath it there's no string whatsoever and this thing is literally hovering above this community I what, the, what, thing in the what is this y'all uh, i can try to zoom in on it as best as i can okay what in the hell is this what is that, y'all? Can anybody explain to me what we are looking at here? Somebody said, I'm cooked. It looks like the eclipse, exactly. That's the exact same shape, size of the, of the thing that blocked the sun in the eclipse. And you can see the little portal things moving around it. Look, you can see, see the little things 
Remember I was showing y'all that portal thing that opened? It looks the same way. You can see the things flying outside of it. Look. But. Man, you can't make this shit up, man. Something is going on in this world, man. Portals have been opened up. There are new things here. Y'all better get y'all better get right with God, man. Flight routes are adjusted for unforgettable solar eclipse viewing at 35,000 feet. Allegedly. Let's get to this. Here it comes. Oh my God. Look at it. Here comes a shadow. Look at that. It's like a tornado. Oh my God. Here we go. The moon's shadow is coming. It is coming. Oh my God. Here it comes. Look at this. I've never seen it like this ever. Only in a plane. No flashes. Oh my God. Here we go. Look at it. Oh my God. Whoa. Look at that. Oh my God. Here we go. Oh my God. It's coming right over us like a storm. Look at this. Oh my God. We're getting close. We're getting close. No filter. Oh my God. Corona. There it is. Diamond Belly's beads. Belly beads. Diamond ring. Look at that. Corona. Totality. Totality. Oh my God. Look at that. Totality. Oh my God. Look at those streamers. Look at the crumbs. It's all prominences. Man, 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 man. Again, totality, right? You keep on hearing this totality word. Totality. Let's continue. And this is someone filming the moon the Who other is night. That right above the moon blinking right there. What is that? I'm zoned in as far as I can go. Like I said, people been seeing with that was one of Ratchet Gang members showing me something flickering above the moon. And I was seeing stuff like that. Like I said, man, I've been seeing a bunch of weird things. Man, what the fuck? Look at this shit. Come on now. Y'all look at this shit. It's right there. It's like a big ass shadow. What the fuck? I'm not tripping. <laughs> I'm not tripping, bro. It look like it's been burnt over there or some bullshit. That's how dark it look. You may not see it as good on camera, like the fucking shadow of a cloud. When have a cloud ever had a fucking shadow like this? Them, them clouds don't have it. This cloud don't have it. Look at that shit. Come on now. Let's get real. Let's get real. Man, man, man. Like I said, you can't explain a lot of this stuff that we looking at. You can't explain a lot of this stuff. Let's see. Asking AI to show something CERN is hiding from the public. There's some weird shit going on, y'all. There's some weird... They asked AI to, to, to show something CERN is hiding from the public, and this is what AI showed them. This is what AI showed them. This is what CERN is hiding from the public, allegedly. And AI is going to be the downfall of everything. Just watch, man. AI, you heard the aliens already tell you, man. AI is going, they almost destroyed their beings, and they're going to destroy ours, allegedly. Allegedly, y'all. What the fuck is going on, man? It's some weird shit. I don't know if you can see that, but that's the moon, and... Let me see. Let me see. Where is the sun? Hold on. Where is the sun at? And I'm looking directly. Okay, that's supposed to be the sun right there, Ratchet. Where that moon went? And that's the moon. Make that make sense. See, 
everybody's starting to catch on either. to this shit. Everybody's catching on that it's not what you think it is. Moon on one side. Moon on one side. So everybody been noticing this after, like during that eclipse, we started to see a whole bunch of weird shit, y'all. Salute to the Kai and Deontay. What's good, y'all? Hey, what's up? What's going on? What's going on? Oh yeah, just chiming in real quick. Go ahead, uh, the Kai. Oh yeah, like crazy enough, those are definitely like like what we're seeing is some portals, and so. What they let through, of course, you know, when he's talking about the yesterday, when we was talking about like with what they let through that portal and that <clears throat> and that basically that oversoul, it definitely triggered a response. And who that response is coming from is the other beings dealing with that specific being, you know, like before it used to be, OK, we're, it's just humans doing human stuff. And then it's just like, OK they're doing they're they're letting what in here now we got to step in because now it's extremely dangerous if that make any sense yeah it does i understand what you're saying uh deontay you there yep i'm here go ahead deontay yeah man like you think like 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 I, all right all right i'm sorry but my question is like y'all think that do, do we got some help on the way or something like oh like how's all this stuff just able to happen like that that basically was actually what i was saying um it was just human affairs until they let that thing here it's actually so drastic so so major that it's actually like you you see what it is look at how it appeared on to, on a weather a weather radar how is it picking that up? Right. It, like uh, the frequency of that is so big, so major that it's it's actually triggering a response off of a weather radar. Uh, that means that what it is is off the scale. That's why I was like, no, this is definitely an oversoul. It's that powerful to the point where the, the weather, like it's not even supposed to be a person, like a, a being isn't supposed to be able to be picked up like that like to to where now the, the you got weather radars tripping so someone says so are we not gonna talk about the path of the eclipse don't go along with the whole sun setting in the west thing i covered that yesterday i don't know how new you are to my channel but i already covered that instead of east to west where it was west to east or whatever the sun is not setting in the spot it's supposed to set in anymore the moon is not in the spot it's supposed to be. Everything is different. Well, I, I, was saying that. I was just saying that. I mm. swear, like, today is the first day that the moon and the sun been out. I'm from Akron, Ohio, and this is today is the first time that we've seen the moon and the sun out. Like, and it looked fake, man. All that shit looked fake. Like, it's crazy. And I study the moon and the sun. I study the rotation of it, all that. And it don't look like it been with what it was before that eclipse happened. It's definitely not. And if you're looking at the sun, the sun doesn't look the same no more. Nothing is the same. I've been, but I told y'all after the, what did I say? What, okay. What day was the uh, eclipse? Was it Monday? Yeah. Monday. Yeah. Okay. You had Monday, right? And then I said it will be three days of darkness after that Tuesday, yeah. Wednesday, <laughs> Thursday. And then what happened on Friday? They started moving in on Israel. And then boom, today, as you see, what the fuck happened? After the three days, it's a fucking war, like I said. That's yeah, crazy. this this has this actually <laughs> triggered a major response, and what I mean by that is, this is why the bunkers were made. They had a, they had kind of a, a a feeling like if they let this thing here, it's going to trigger a response of what that thing is is basically fighting. Hey, and you you did say it's going to be a war. You I, you've been saying that all week. You've been saying that. And what's happening in Israel right now don't make no sense. But I got, I got a. I, I, it's, it's weird to me. How can they predict the next eclipse? And on top of that, if the if the moon is is always orbiting the Earth, wouldn't it always have an eclipse almost just about every day since the, since the sun is uh, shining down on Earth? 
I mean, like since it's since the moon is always, you know, at some point it's going to be in the the same alignment as the sun, based right. upon where. But that that's just the thing. You're, you're, you that's a that's a great point. It's like at some point because they, they say in the next eclipse the is in twenty years. Yeah, they got to rotate together. Yeah, Not I mean, the the moon is more off of the Earth's rotation, but for exactly. the most part, at some point, it's going to meet together because you know, it, it's I, it's I, it's only so many places it could go until they all come into but, alignment. But tell me, how can anybody in Earth predict it's going to be the next eclipse in twenty years? How can you tell me? How can you? How can you figure that out? How, how can? How do you know uh, that? They, Right. There, there is, there is actually like a measurement system to do but that. The same, but at the but same the, time, the it's same not, sci mm. the same scientist got the whole path wrong. Yeah. yeah. They didn't right. even know where the fuck this shit was because they didn't know what the fuck they was talking about. Exactly. The entire path of totality, they didn't know what the fuck they were talking about. They made that whole thing up. They didn't. They freestyled the whole thing. This situation, right. yeah, this situation mm -hmm. right here was definitely a spiritual event, but not one that was actually like, you know, like how there will okay. be like an eclipse or other stuff. It's like, no, this is actually more of them actually activating something and then covering up saying that, oh, exactly. it's, a, it's, a, it's, the, it's the easiest excuse. You know, it's something that it, they're not telling people that. Okay, they brought something here, and then it's going. It triggered a invasion for them, not for us. For them, I, I really do feel like what Rash was saying. I really do feel like if not this year, the next year something big is going to happen, and it, we all going to be at it all like, damn, you see, you see, you all fucked us up. We could have been prepared for it, so and it's just going to be in the midst. Like we ain't even going to know what to do or nothing. Like ain't exactly. nobody. Like wow! Here, here's the crazy part, right? Let me get that. Let like get when, that. when, when, when that happens, you know, like when they they activate Project Blue Beam, it is not going to be in the way that you know normally. A, a lot of people who you know talk about this is it is going to happen. It's more or less like it's going to be used as a way of like it's going to make the people who is here, like who is here for us, look like the enemy and basically the one that is here. That is actually causing the chaos to feed off of. It's going to make. It's going to basically make that be behind the scenes, so that we don't focus on that. Yeah, I, I, yeah, you probably right about that too. For real, for real. It's it's basic. It is. It is, that's why they're letting it be like okay, you know, this this gonna happen. It's going to be an invasion. It's just like yeah, there's gonna be. It's gonna be used to fake some things, but it's not going to be used to to fake, you know who they're against it's just that we're gonna get it's gonna cause some people to get in the way and end up making themselves an enemy in a situation where it had nothing to do with them they're after specific people who let that thing here mm -hmm. but I think you, you see how we you see how like we we figuring everything out i don't know people probably been on it a little bit more than me but like we figuring this stuff out like but it's like what what do we do how do we prepare like what is like is we about to lose this war or is it like what like, man it's it's so many it's, questions that we can just ask like what the hell i say i, I say like it's it's it, it's as funny as it sounds it is basic survival like what is it that we could do in a situation like say if there's a war an actual war it's like how do you survive that you know you get your your food you have your your, your stuff prepared like if you got to move to to whatever place Make sure that you're 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 up on your survival because a lot of things will shut down. We're not gonna have you know electricity all the time. We're not gonna have um, water readily accessible all the time. The, the supermarkets ain't gonna be there like that because we we dealing with a, a whole another situation. Because look at even what happened with Iran and Israel and how this is and, and really all these things too is definitely distractions and also sacrifices to a degree, but for the most part. They are distractions with that cost real lives. Like they definitely do cost real lives. Yeah. Can I ask y'all a question though? Like, what y'all think? Like, like the people who like, like when you talk about like Rashad Jamal and hold on, uh, hold on. Like, well, before you ask that question, hold on. I got somebody backstage. I'm trying to see who this is. Eyes, right, so what's good? Okay. Hey, okay, that's you. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay, okay. what's going on, Eyes? Um, I just wanted to ask you if you was an alien. Yeah, I am. Thank you. Pop, uh, pop back out. 
Get your goofy ass on. Yeah, like what the fuck? Man, it's weird, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I am. For that? Yeah, I am. Thank you. You waited. You waited ten minutes backstage to ask me that weird shit. Get your goofy ass on. Yeah, wow. All right, hold on. I don't know who the fuck this is either. Give me one second. Who is Brittany? Hey. What's going on? The ratchet. So, um, I'm always here. I've been here since takeoff. I just don't ever pop up here. But um, I was listening to y'all talk, and I was thinking to myself, like, why would they? create a fake sun and i was just thinking like what if we're already in in the darkness like the 40 days and we just don't know it like the earth knows it the animals know it it's it's a lot of weird shit you know um and maybe that's why they created that fake sun because we actually in the darkness already like we actually you know they say the fifth seal is broken you know it only needs to be six. So, I don't know. You got a point. Yeah. Yeah, yeah ahead, true. Get in there. But I wanted to say this. Doesn't it feel, it feels like we being babied and being protected and the government is saying, no, nah, we got this. You, We don't need your protection. It feels like we being contacted by others and the government don't want that shit to happen. It feels that way. It really that, does. Cause, that is it. That is it right there. Point. It's like it's like it's like okay, look, we're here. We we, we want to help you. Want it? We want to give you this, but at the same time, no. Right. Uh, they they they're stopping us from doing from helping y'all, giving us giving you medicines, giving you any type of thing to help society grow. But it seems like the government is just stopping that. Because think about this: if the government, the government, like basically the UFOs being seen, we're seeing a lot more things that are happening in the air. And then like 10 years ago or uh, uh or in early 2000, late 90s, none of this wasn't wasn't I, even, nothing. Now all of a sudden it's like, man, look, we trying to show y'all we out here, we out here, we out here. And next thing you know, it's a story behind everything or oh, what well, this happened or what that happened. Or, and it doesn't make no sense. Yeah. It feels like we're being, it feels like we're being protected and being baby and something is just trying to reach out to us and the government stopping that. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I'm in um I'm in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm maybe 50 miles from Rapture, the city in the middle of the eclipse. And um I know that when we were we were watching it, I didn't use any glasses, but um I immediately felt woozy, like dizzy. <laughs> and you know, I stay fully hydrated. I eat right. You know, I work out. I try to do everything I need to do, and I'm I'm never sick. You know what I'm saying? And immediately, I felt woozy, and I had to go in the house. So, uh, uh, this- as you say that, <clears throat> I was out, like I haven't been outside really during this eclipse ever, ever since. Well, I, I mean, I go out, but I haven't really been outside, like just out there. Right. Today, for the first time, I was outside for a long period of time. I have not, like, I've been in my car driving and going just from one A to B, just going from straight A to B. But today, I actually was outside and I was out there for hours. Right. And when I got back home, I I ate. And as soon as I got done eating, I got really fucking tired. I was so fucking sleepy. I slept all the way up until 730. I didn't, by the time y'all seen me do that premiere, I had just woke up. I took a shower and came on live. I I already had the show kind of ready. I finished putting the show together. And I was just tired. And I, and I woke up, I was sick. I was like, man, my fucking throat is killing me. I feel like I'm getting, I can feel like the the top of my head is hurting so bad. I had a horrible headache and I just began to get drowsy. And I was That's like, crazy. fuck, I'm yeah. getting sick, man. Like, was damn. the sun up, out up there? Hell yeah, it was out today. Hell yeah, it was out today. When did y'all see the moon? Was it y'all, y'all been I seeing haven't, the moon? I haven't, I haven't seen the moon. I still haven't seen the moon, um, and I'm in Indianapolis, and I've been looking for it ever the since. Moon the moon out now. I'm right next to the moon. I'm right next to the moon. The first time the moon out. Yeah, because okay. I was looking for the sun and the moon yesterday, the day before, and it was super cloudy, rainy. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same down here in Ohio. Oh, hold on, I got somebody <laughs> backstage. I don't know who this is. The time is now. What's good? What's good? Salute, Roger. What's good, big bro? Go ahead. Hey, I'll be honest though. Hey, I've been watching for a long time. I've been hearing you talking about this whole Eclipse thing, my G. 
Like real talk, like I think all this was staged. No joke. Yeah, I all this was staged, and I feel like, like bro was saying, uh, that whole thing was a portal, bro. They let yeah. something through, bro. Yeah. And I okay. feel like I don't really want to say it. Allegedly, I'm gonna say it, but all this is allegedly, big bro. I feel like they let through the king of hell, bro. <laughs> something came through that portal, bro. X. And it's something that came through that portal to destroy everything that's going on, bro. Because I, I pay attention when you said, uh, watch after the old eclipse, how shit gonna be looking crazy. Like the wind stopped blowing out of control, bro. Everything was uh, looking crazy, big bro. And I'm like, mm -hmm. man, the sun nah. gives, I think everybody, the sun is giving a headache right now. It's so yeah. fucking bright. And I'm going to be honest, even after this whole thing, bro, it's like my whole energy being gone, bro. It's like, I don't know, spiritually, like, energy-wise, it's like, I feel different. Like, like, like you said, everything going to be different. And that's what's going on. And I feel like something is over and uh, over and over us, bro. But we don't know mm -hmm. what it is. That, I think what happened, mm -hmm. I was talking to somebody. Remember, Ratchet, I'll show you the maps of them ice walls. So I think... And it's the suns in each of them ice well. I think when the, that's why everybody's seeing the suns like that. And I think they did the ritual when all the suns was gonna align. They waited till all the suns was aligned, and like I said, did a portal and called it an eclipse and did and did and trade and played us. They they really did that's like they knew the suns was gonna align like that. Like they knew when yeah. that was gonna happen. Yeah, they knew all them suns was gonna hey, align. Brad, that's did why you they say it again. Did you get that email? Uh, no, I didn't. Did you send it to me? Yeah, I sent it to you. Hey, and the next thing it's all over Facebook now. They got, they got the technology. Hold on, is that is that you, this Cody? No, nah, King Do. King Do. I didn't get no. You should let us do our thing. Uh, did you send it from what email did you send? Them? I don't see Mark. King Do seven twenty five. I didn't get no email, bro. All right, I'll send it again. And Rashid, I just want to say this: even with that red, that them red cows and stuff that they finna sacrifice, them niggas know what the hell they let out through that portal, bro. That's why they have to do this. Yeah, this right here is actually um because it's such a. a Has anybody entity. seen stars in the sky? No. Oh no. no. Hell no. Yeah. <laughs> What the fuck? I what mean, happened to the stars after the eclipse? I've seen it from last night to now. I haven't seen stars. I haven't seen the moon. I haven't seen a lot of weird oh, shit, man. That hey, I'm in that Akron, day. Ohio. I see a couple stars right now. This is the first day, though. This is the first day, and who, I see the... Who, who is in a car right now? I hear a bunch of noise in the background. Oh, my bad. I, I got that. All right. Yeah, that thing but that yeah. they let through. Yeah, they, Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, that, that thing, yeah, that thing that they had let through, let through it literally, it literally is encompassing like the, the the skies of the planet. And what I mean by that is, like, when we used to wonder, it popped up on the radar. You know, like when a, a person comes alive, there's that that particle, that thing, that that energy that just gets here, and then now it's in the body. It, it, the body basically grows over it, all that stuff. I mean, at that point, but now we're getting into so, somewhat metaphysical. But the point is. That's how it entered. It entered in a small form, and it's huge to us, but it's small for it. It's basically now encompassing the planet. And that I has, think, and I think that whole thing can mess with our whole ecosystem, bro. It is. It already is actually, like right here in New York, for example. Today, it literally <laughs> rains. It rain got cold, warm, and also was sunny and. There was no, there was just completely clouds in one day within just two hours. Every two hours that was happening. It literally messed. What's good, Faith? Hello. Go ahead. Hi. Yeah, I've been seeing stuff for years. And my family, I'm like, why are you always looking up to the sky? I said, because it's covered. It was like, no, it's not. It's not covered. It's covered. It's a whole lot of stuff going on, but people don't want to acknowledge it. And I feel that a lot of the stuff that's man-made, they're trying to 
put the Bible into it. You understand what I'm saying? Uh huh. Go ahead. Yes. Elaborate. Um, because there's a lot of stuff that's in the Bible and Revelations that shows mm -hmm. what's going on now, but a lot of the weather that's going on, it's man-made. No, thanks. They got yeah. centers where they create the weather, thunderstorms, hurricanes, tornadoes, all but this alleged, stuff. Allegedly, Coda Black then told us that. <laughs> allegedly. Coda <laughs> Ben told us that, allegedly. I know for a fact it's man-made, like I took my daughter out of school for the eclipse. And my mom's like, why are you taking her out of school? It's nothing going on. I said, I'm taking her out of school because it's more than what you think is going on. You don't know what you're talking about. And I'm a Christian, I believe. But I also believe that it's different entities in the world. It's in the Bible, period. There's so much stuff that we don't understand, like demons and devils around us. It's it's here. So for people not to understand that things could be fake and put out here, like, mm. come on now, we make cars that don't need gas. The computers are out here. So you don't believe or think that they won't fabricate an eclipse? Man, I always say this when I was young. I always sit down and think about it. How, how the hell we made all these stuff, right? And I'm like, okay, as we grow and evolve, yeah, we getting smarter. But I'm like, hell no way we that smart. Somebody giving us all this technology, bro. Oh, yeah. Nothing new is under the sun. There's nothing new under the sun. All this stuff oh, yeah. was here. Okay. Yeah. But yeah. have y'all looked? Okay, like, back in the day, because I'm 37, the clouds in the sky was a much farther away. It's so much closer now. Even when I fly, this like the clouds and stuff are so close. But back in the day, it used to be so far away. I used to look in the clouds all the time. It was just so far away. I used to be like, dang, the sky's so far. Now everything is so close because it's a covering. Like it's stuff they didn't make. Clouds are made. Hold on one second. Hold on one second. Jay, stay fresh. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Gamer, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you. Hold on, I'm trying to turn my background down. Okay, okay. That's what to make sure. All right, go ahead, Jay. Stay fresh. What's up, gang? I wasn't really gonna call in, but I did. I've been listening to you, Ratchet, but uh, I never really call in. But this situation with this solar eclipse, I didn't go out to watch it, but ever since it happened, I've been having a lot of headaches. I've been exhausted, like. Mm -hmm. All day, just like I be drained. But I wanted to make a point about CERN and also about the image that I had seen on your platform. It was like the sun was getting blocked by this big black beam. I know everybody know what I'm talking about when you showed the video. Yeah, yeah. Mm, so yes. since I've been sitting here thinking about this for the past few days since I watched it, and I'm like. <sighs> Everybody's talking about the world of darkness and how right now it just like could be a fake sun. I I, I think something definitely going on. I, I really do. But I was sitting here thinking about how the sun power everything. Like we got everything like cars and all this solar, everything getting powered. But I'm thinking also about CERN. Is it that big old plate was something they needed to like capture some energy or something? Are they blocking the real sun to power it, to use yes. it for something? You know what I'm talking about? I don't know if I'm far fed. No, 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 no. You're right, you on, the, you right you on the money. Right. Yes. Yeah. You're right on the money. You got to think about this. You're right. They, they already exposed the fact that they can do this with plasma. They can make a sun out of plasma. Mm -hmm. Exactly. And, and and then uh on top of them being able to do a sun with plasma, you got to think about this. Every fucking city you got got a bunch of and and I don't mean no disrespect, but you got like a bunch of people who need. Let's, let's just say you can say crackheads. You got to say the lowest. They all are in the facility to get this money that they throwing at you for plasma. And I'm just being real. I know people who used to be like, hey, bro, I need a sack. Man, I'm going to go in here and donate to it. I've never donated plasma. I was one of them. I've, I've never done it. I never would do it. 
But I know yeah. people he's like, damn, I need I need some green, bro. I'm gonna go donate some plasma. I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with that's some crackhead <laughs> shit? But but then again, you got how many people to think like that? That low. How much do they pay? How much do they pay you for plasma? I don't know. I have no fucking idea. It's dirt cheap in Akron, Ohio. It's dirt cheap. My cousin work at a plasma place do? where they going after that. Hold on, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Everybody talking. I, I hold on. Everybody talking. How much do they pay you for donating plasma? Sometimes they pay you a hundred, sometimes they pay you a fee. They pay you twice a week. You only can do it twice because your body can only your okay, body so gotta you, replenish that stuff. So you can get two you can get a hundred dollars twice a week. So no, you get two hundred dollars no. a week doing it. No, your body nah, it go down. Hold on, hold on. But it, it depends, depends on what city you live in. Yeah, I'm, I'm, trying, I'm trying to explain it because I had did it years. Like I did it for a couple years because I was homeless at first. Yeah. So I that's how I was making my little stream, but you know. It, it I caught on to the cloning. See, I've been studying this truth for for years. So I once I caught on about the clone and I just stopped. Like, nah, I can't do it. That's what I think they're using that for. It says on average, a person will make about fifty to seventy five dollars per appointment. Although mm. the amount you can make donating plasma will vary depending on where you do it. So yeah, it depends on the city. So let's just say let's just say up to one hundred dollars. So you yep. you can get about a hundred and fifty two hundred dollars a week doing this so you can get about four hundred dollars five hundred dollars maybe possibly donating plasma a month so what does that tell you how many people do you think are doing it so if, they, if, you, got, if you got a million five million ten million people donating plasma to you right. every it'd month line. it'd be a line ratchet i live by one of them. it'd be a line Hey, I'll be. I, I'm in Akron, Ohio. Can I speak not, on that real quick? Go, go ahead. I got everybody. Everybody got it. I got too many people on this panel, so y'all got to respect each other's. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Time. So who just said they wanted to talk? Me, me, Akron, Ohio. From from go Akron, ahead. Ohio. Go my ahead. my cousin work at a uh, plasma spot where they doing that at. And down here, it ain't it ain't really that much. You're not really getting that much for that. Like you. It really depends on your body weight. Like if you real skinny and stuff, man, you only getting about twenty dollars for that. Like, and if you got weight on you, yep. like you getting just a little bit more than that. Not not a yeah. lot, man. My cousin worked there. You can give like, <laughs> like six. You give like six twenty that. if you skinny, and then you give eight eighty four. I think that's how it was. Eight eighty eight eighty four or something like that. When when I was doing it, so the bigger you are, the more you get. And then, and then, then got, they also. They got promos and stuff. When you do it so many times a month, you get extra money on certain donations and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, and then they system. also they also check your blood type so that um what it is yes. is like your certain blood they want you get even more because it's like some special type blood stuff they looking for. So uh, it's for this cloning stuff they've been doing, bro. bro they've been cloning for like all of this stuff going on, bro. Yeah. It's they, way more. It's way deeper than what we think. You gotta have a high protein level. If your proteins get too low the, and your vitamins and stuff get too low, they they are stopping from doing it. It's another way. It's also another way. Oh yeah, definitely. And it's also another way of getting stem cells for um different products. Because even for for example, like um the, yes. the needle, the needle yep. for example, they need um for the lipids that the mRNA uses um to be able to actually you know fuse with the DNA. They yep. need they need the um lip they need genetic material to make the lipids because that's basically yep. like um. That it, it, it's organic, so therefore it can fuse with it. The body won't reject it as as bad as if it was something where it was like, you know, if it was something metallic or if it was something where, because mind you, that the the needle, I'm just gonna call it that. Um, it uti it utilize a form of nanotechnology, which is this is this is kind of biological. It's using lipids separate your blood using, from the plasma. Yep. Yeah, yeah, and so it's it's using organic material to you know be able to to be accepted by the body a lot more easily it, um that's why it's actually a, a, a very dangerous thing like even the maker of mrna was like hey this right here i i'm not for it being used on people like this because like on this kind of scale where it's a, it's just like put it like this a good two-thirds of the the planet right now got that and it's it's literally and I mean that I'm dead ass serious. It's five point five like six billion people that actually took this. And so right now you got a lot of people walking around with 
a form of nanotechnology and they not even understand like no this is actually something you like that's what they're using the genetic material to do they're using it to be able to finally can hack yes they're, they're they're using it to be able to hack people so it's just like if they can get into your dna they could make something that can replace coding with your dna that's really what it is it's it's rna it's artificial rna and once that binds with your dna it's rewriting the code of your dna yeah, that's why What's, I stopped doing this uh, donate stuff because the Bible is most I say do not mess with the blood for the life force is in the blood. Uh, yes. See, I didn't know, I didn't understand certain things until once I started studying. Once I started studying, uh, uh-uh, I don't do that. I still got that mark from donating, but, but um, I don't, uh, uh-uh, I don't mess around. I haven't messed around with it in like maybe eight years, nine years now. But I feel like they take that and giving it to the rich and powerful to keep them strong and keep going. Keep them alive. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, they could, they could use some of the stem cells to actually do that, you know. Yeah, I think um, that going too. Yeah, it's like with the um aborted babies, they're actually more potent in being able to have you know more stem cells used. Hold on, for- y'all. Give me one second. King Do, what's going on? What's going on, bro? King Do, what's up? You keep calling in over and over. You ain't saying nothing, bro. Come on, fam. I don't know what you got going on, though. He just keep calling in. Don't call in no more, King. Just, I, I, I ain't got you emailing nothing. Ratchet, I have a question. It's a wicked spirit, Ratchet. That's what it is. Trying to keep you from 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 doing this work, man. Yeah, he's talking. Mm. Ratchet, I also I have right. a question for everybody. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. With like the stem cells and stuff like that, like um most of the people that have passed away in my family have been males but they've been strong alpha males but the females in my family have had like cancer and stuff like that they've been moved on but the males have died they've not gave given them the treatment they said they were gonna give them they give them them different treatments and they all have passed away so when my father died he donated all his stuff to everybody you know what i'm saying like he was a donator but he died from liver cancer no way i'm trying to understand where where are you going with this yeah i'm saying like black males i'm a i'm a conspiracy theorist i think people do stuff for things so i'm just saying like I feel like they're using those, like the body parts and stuff like that. Like they're killing them off. Like they give them a lot of, yep. they give a lot of black men morphine when they're going through that, like their cancer treatments yep. and going it's through like radiations. We was talking about this uh, a couple of nights ago on Ratchet Show. Ooh. While we was we was we was trying to tell you that we the children of Israel is something about us that's different than everything. I'm not saying that we. I'm not being racist. I'm not putting Hold on, nobody. No, 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 no. Let's not go there. Hold on one second. I got somebody backstage. We ain't going. If it, if it feel like it's gonna get there, we ain't going. Oh no, it's not. Ho- hold on, there. hold on. I wasn't talking to you. Hold on, Joy. What's good, Joy? Hey, Joy. hey, how's everybody? How y'all doing? Good, go ahead, Joy. How you doing? Good night, Queen. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Go ahead, Joy. I'm happy to be here. I just want to uh, chime in on the plasma. Y'all mentioning about plasma usage. We already know that the life is in the blood, right? So plasma, the process of extracting plasma from the blood is basically taking vital electrolytes and other energetic components that your blood needs. So they can take those components that's in the plasma and they can use it in ritual. That is the main reason they're harvesting blood and plasma. They need it for ritual. As far as adrenochrome, you can put plasma through. You can put plasma through a process where it can um, imitate adrenochrome. It's not going to be the exact mm-hmm. same thing, but it will imitate your, the your high. Your voice is really muffled. Your voice is really muffled. I'm sorry. I was talking you, through my, you. um, I was speaking through my headphones. Is it better? Yeah. Yeah. You're better. yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Okay. So, yeah, what I was saying is they use those uh, components from plasma and components from blood to be able to strengthen their, uh, 
satanic and witchcraft rituals they use the the blood it has to be wet and it has to be fresh because uh once it's spilled it creates a a spiritual portal or what you would call a gateway or a door and that's also where cern comes in at because they're using that hadron collider to uh, smash the atoms together and basically create doorways and portals open in the heavenly. If you know the physics and the physical characteristics and properties of the atom, A-T-O-M, yeah. then you will understand why they have to smash them together because it's opening up these gateways. And another way to do that is through blood. Now, a lot of people that's against the Bible, they say, oh, your God is a bloody God. He received all those sacrifices in the Bible. Da, 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 da. He liked blood too. It's not that Yahweh Jehovah is a bloody, bloodthirsty God. It's that when he made this creation in this universe, in the beginning, it was void and chaos. He was hovering over the face of the deep. He said, let there be light. He separated a lot of the antimatter and the dark matter that CERN is trying to portal in. He yes. separated us and he put us in a bubble of light. Mm. Okay. Yes, choice. You mm. got this. I'm dropping down. Salute, gang. Salute, Ratchet. She on. She, she on point. Go ahead. No, she no, point. no, no. Go ahead, Shay. She said okay. everything. I Go ahead, thought. Shay. Go ahead. Okay. So, 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 hold God on, is not on, a bloodthirsty God, on. right? When He created our universe, hold He on, separated the darkness and the antimatter that was evil deities from being in our realm. So, you. I can hear you, Ratchet. Man, man. When I'm talking. Come on, you got to slow it down a little bit. I get where you're going. We got more than one person on this panel. I got a shitload of people trying to get in here. So give me one second. Shay, go ahead. Um, She touched on a lot of stuff that I was um coming up to talk about. I mean, I stick around because I'm sure I'm going to have something else to say in a minute. But she she, she got it for the All right. moment. All right, hold mm -hmm. on. That's somebody else calling in. One second, ma'am. I'm going to let you finish, but hold on. Uh, Andrew, yeah. what's up, Andrew? Andrew. Andrew, can you hear me? Yeah, I sure can. Hey, what's up, everyone? Hey. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can cut your live off in the background, Andrew. Andrew, turn your live off in the background. Okay. Well, I can't really hear you. I have to turn off my speakers. Anyway, I'm I'm a white boy. Um. Yeah, it's weird that I say that. But listen, you guys. Um, you're speaking a lot of truth here. Um, the black community uh, refused the vaccine, the COVID vaccine, uh, uh, mm -hmm. over everything else. And you guys were this, like the staunch protectors of keeping your blood pure. You guys understand something spiritual. There's something deep going on here. And that's what I want to say is, um, you know, I, I love you guys. I have a lot of respect for you guys. And uh, yeah, that's all I have to say at this moment. I'm going to turn my speakers back on so I can hear you guys talk. Uh, and ask salute, me any questions bro. or whatever you guys want to, you know, ask me. Salute. salute, salute. Hey, what's up? All right. Does anybody else want to get in there? Uh, Joy. Uh, yeah, I, yeah I, I kind of want to. I uh, want to. Um, yeah. My bad. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, 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 no. You got it. You got it. You got it, bro. Go ahead. Yeah. I wanted to I, because I, I I know what's going on. I wanted to share this. I was going to read y'all a few scriptures that explains everything that's going on right now. So I rather just let everybody get what they got going on, Ratchet. Then I'm gonna share this information. I was gonna try to share it the other night, but you know I ain't I ain't trying to take up like that. So um, I got to pull the fire. So I should. We might have to do that. Mm -hmm. The final thought. Yeah, I got. You. I got. You. Something I wanted to actually mention, um, and this is where, um, even though they're they are collecting genetic material from everyone, essentially, the, here's where with black people specifically where it gets special. It's like, for instance, the melatonin, the melanocytes that they're trying to get from people to be able to make different products. You know, like melatonin, um, being able to have um, carbon to put on spaceships, rockets, other things that can actually, you know, get close enough to that ferment the, the the crazy thing about it is the process and where they have to do it which is you cannot have a live subject and do it which is because you have to literally boil down and like you got to melt the the body basically to be able to get the melatonin i mean the the the, the melanocytes that is why whenever you know a, a quote-unquote black person gets um, murdered or 
Unalived. The, the, unalived. Unalived. Yes, un- unalived. The process in which they have to use to be able to get that is a form of actually melting down the body. Like they have the hot, like they got to hyperboil it basically to be able to have, you know, the extracts. Um, basically, the, the melanin left behind is kind of like whenever you um, boil something and you let it dry and then you got the re- the residue and then the bones left. It, it's kind of like that. That's That's how they extract it. It's kind of like a form of hydro cremation. Hmm. I just know that they're searching for um, the guy gene um, and the men yeah. and the women and women hold a certain gene. Shit, they ain't they, searching for shit. They got that motherfucker. No, they ain't got it yet. Nah, you can't, they can't never nah, get it. They either. got they, something. They, they, they now listen, now listen, now listen, now listen. After that eclipse, all of these unexplained things going on around this world. You think they ain't the discover? They- okay. No, Take- I'm talking. About Hold on. Wait. 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 Guys. Let me. Let me land the plane. Who is? Who has got some shit going on in their background? It's too many people. <laughs> Mute your mics. Mute your mics. Mute your mics. Or I'm gonna start kicking people off. Mute your mics. Okay. That was you. All right. Thank you. But you gotta understand, they haven't even explained. They already did 20 press conferences before the eclipse saying this is what we're going to look for it's going to be a bunch of shit y'all need to start uh, making plans shit going to go left have a travel plan make sure you talking to your people make sure you got all got a plan and then as soon as the eclipse happened you never heard another documented report from CERN CERN it hasn't said psyop. shit I get it you. was a psyop. I get you. so if CERN hasn't even made a statement to tell you what they uncovered during this eclipse what do you think they uncovered during this eclipse but they ain't gonna tell you in the first. No, needed. no, I agree with that totally, one thousand percent. But what I was um, talking about is is DNA inside of us humans that they are looking for that they haven't found yet, and it goes back to the plasma as well uh-huh. and the blood. Um, goes so back to the I think I think you might be misunderstanding what CERN did. CERN already knows about these. They they already. Are trying have been trying to obtain the God particle, so they mm-hmm. already figured out if they just power this uh, LHC up to a hundred percent. I hear an echo. Hold on. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, they said if they power this machine up to a hundred percent, then they could probably ob- not only obtain this God particle, they can also the the shit is so strong they can power it up and it can put a hole into the atmosphere that can create portals and then they also said they've been communicating with the being with the personality on the other side of their wall and they just didn't know what the fuck it was but when this machine gets plugged in they damn sure gonna be able to find out because either something going in or something coming out of that damn portal Mm -hmm. and they haven't even made a report so that goes to show you the particle that they're looking for they possibly could have obtained this shit because if you're looking at it now, everybody getting sick. There's a war going on. Everybody is all over the place. So, what did they? What did they uncover during that eclipse? That's what I'm trying to say. That's, that's, that's what I was. Going. That's why I was going to read these passages to you about uh, Ratchet. The Most High already know what they're trying to do. He ain't going to allow certain things. Everything they do, he allow it. You can't do nothing if he don't allow it. Yep. And they're only gonna get so far. And then he gonna say, Up, oh, and what they doing is <laughs> they finna make him say, Up, oh, he gonna let out a shout and it's gonna break the trees and rattle the whole earth. Then they gonna see some things you don't need to touch. When you get the tamping with the most high, he coming. <laughs> no, no way May to be something. Oh, I wanted to say something. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry, that was me, Jay. Go ahead, go ahead. I'll Hold on, before you it. ask, I got, I got two people backstage. I'm trying to see who the hell this is. Uh, pretty. Oh, is it that praying? Praying. What's up? Hi. How are you all? Okay. Hey. So, uh, Mal, what's up, Mal? Okay. Go ahead. Uh, ask that question you were just about to ask before she gets in there. Go ahead and ask that question. I think it was Joy. Jay. It was Jay. Oh yeah. No, no, no. That was somebody else. Mm-mm, it was that Jay. was Jay. Go ahead. Well, Jay. I'm not, I, Okay. I didn't have a question, y'all. I was just about to uh, just piggyback off of what you were saying about CERN, how they're opening up the um, the, the gateways and the, and the wormholes in the atmosphere. And so basically, I don't know if y'all remember in the Bible 
where it says that they will be given a key that will be able to open the bottomless pit and out of the pit gonna come Abaddon or Apollyon. Now CERN is located mm -hmm. on an old a old city it used to be called Apollyacum. I'm listening to you. Okay, so now that's why they got that Shiva statue right in front of CERN. That's why mm -hmm. when CERN was first finished being built, they did that big ritual um, in the tunnels with the people dancing all weird and stuff. It was a huge, massive ritual. And um, the basically the deity that they're trying to bring in, that's why they cranked that CERN portal. They, they cranked CERN back up during the solar eclipse because if you realize the moon don't travel the way that eclipse travels. What 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 direction does the moon travel? Who knows? Man, that whole that whole thing was messed up. And the fact that the rocket was named a poly something something mm -hmm. it is it meant a uh, devil of destruction. That so that's the key. That's the key mm -hmm. that they needed. They needed for that. They needed that solar eclipse to happen at on a certain day at a certain time. And they needed to do their ritual at CERN, and they needed to fire their rockets. And I want y'all to know this is facts. Witches, wizards, and warlocks all around the world was doing blood sacrifices on that day during the solar eclipse. And in the future, in the future, we about to have a lot of uh water disasters. We about to have a lot of like volcanic eruptions. Stuff is about to start happening. This is the birthing pains that they really have uh triggered because we are about to meet the antichrist and the uh, tribulation is about to start. So y'all start saving up food, get your firearms and everything, and start trusting and, and repenting because the the the, this nation is about to be judged. Absolutely. Mile One Vision. What's up, Mile One? Man, salute to the Ratchet TV, man. Y'all hit that like and subscribe button, man. I'm Mile One Vision, man. Y'all might know me as Mr. Stomp Down. But uh, I wanted to, I also uh, sent uh, Ratchet TV some, um, some close-up pics, man, of the eclipse that i was able to share you know i want to want him to share with the people because i was able to capture the path of it it's not a light reflection it's not a made up pic and i haven't seen those uh pics online yet but i want people to know that, uh, the sun is actually 1.4 million kilograms across right and the moon is only 3,400 and uh 74 kilometers across so whatever this was is the sun is roughly 400 times larger than the moon so if it's 400 times larger and but they are saying that it's 400 times further which make it a wide incident so, so i just, just want to say this as well just real, real quick and get y'all thoughts on, on it, it. But, but the, 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 the uh, sun, sun is, is I mean, the moon, moon can, can fit, fit in the sun, sun 64 million, million times inside, inside the sun. sun. Make, make it make, make sense. sense. No, it's facts. And, and the, the moon, moon was going, going to the, to the east, east when the when sun, sun was, was getting set, set to, to the west. west. It was it going was the going opposite, opposite direction. direction. So, so if we get total complete darkness, tell me if the moon it, it can fit, fit in the sun, sun or, or the sun, sun can fit in the moon, moon sixty-four million, million times, time. like, like or the moon, moon can fit in the sun sixty-four million times, what would so, so be that block of the sun? sun. Exactly. It was oh, my bad. My bad. I, it's because I was sharing this. My bad. I was sharing okay. my screen. Okay. My fault, y'all. That's why. The okay. Shit got I, okay. I want to say something. I'm real quick about that. When he said that about what was so big that blocked the sun. Back to what I was explaining. I was sitting here thinking maybe you remember you you spoke on them trying to break the infirmment. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. So I was thinking maybe whatever is covering the real sun they juicing it up for whatever and i'm a i am convinced that from that video with the alien speaking with them about things to come from a long time ago i'm assuming they getting information from these other species and entities so with all that being said they they using that big block for something to try to i i feel like they're trying to break it i don't really know but I just wanted to share my thoughts on that, and I think yeah, this what I think. I think. I think. I think. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. One at a time. 
One at a time. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. I, I, have, um, after the eclipse, have y'all seen stars out? No. I asked, yes, tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. In Ohio. I have. Yes, tonight. And I see the half Just of tonight. Animal. Just tonight. And that's in Ohio. Hey, Ratchet, uh, pull that picture up again that North you have. Venus, you can see Venus in the picture that I had, and a lot of people didn't catch that. So if you pull that picture up I sent you, that star, nobody has seen Venus, and that Venus was right next to that picture that I sent you. So that you will see the star, Venus, right there that next to going. Exactly. I seen it here in Ohio. Hi. Um... Hi, Ratchet. Hi, everybody else. Salute. I just wanted to say a couple of things. One thing is the other day when you were talking about the uh, up, where the other colliders were in the world, um, it's one right in Ennis, Texas, right in your backyard. Mm -hmm. um, it was built, it started being built in the 1980s, the mid-80s, and there was all this big hoopla about it. It's called the Super Collider. Mm -hmm. It's right off of 287. And um, it was this big hoopla. They spent all this money, brought in all these physicists from all over the world and relocated them. And all of a sudden, it just was, oh, we don't have any more money to fund it. Hmm. Now, they say it went away. They just stopped working on it. But my stepmother worked there. So hmm. I know for a fact that it, it didn't go away. Plus, I met several physicists that relocated here years later. They have still been living here out off 287 in small little towns. Um, that work at that plant, but when you pass it, it's it has a sign up saying it's a recycling center. Hmm. So that's number one. Um, hmm. and they they fired up all of those hedron colliders before that so called quote unquote eclipse. We had a mini earthquake, a very small light earthquake in the middle of the night the week hmm. before the eclipse here in the DFW because I live in the DFW, very close to that hedron collider in in Ennis, Texas, and um. It was in the middle of the night. My dogs woke up. That's how light it was. So mm -hmm. number two, uh, when that when you donate plasma from from your blood, they only get plasma from two places in the world. That's in the United States and in a small town in Brazil. Mm -hmm. Nowhere else do they ask for people to donate plasma, and they use it. I've been dealing with plasma bloodborne products for 30 years, infusing that into ish and pale people because mm -hmm. they are born without an immune system, whether you know that or not. So they get our plasma from foundational black Americans and a mm -hmm. few Afro Brazilians to infuse and they send it to Europe, South Africa, Australia, and the people here. Mm. When you do dialysis, it's the same exact process mm -hmm. as donating yes. plasma. Wow. So that is why you see so many dialysis center and black men on dialysis in our neighborhood. Yes. Yep. That is why you see wow. so many plasma centers popping up because guess what? We didn't they didn't need to have a bunch of plasma centers when we were smoking crack because that's what crackheads <laughs> did, donate plasma. Mm -hmm. Well, we're not cracking no more. Yeah, mm -hmm. exactly. So they had to figure out another way to incentivize it, which is why you get more money. You can make in the DFW area, if you donate plasma on a regular basis, you can make up to $1,200 a month. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you need to understand that now. They don't put plasma in plasma TVs. What they do is take aborted fetal cells Mm -hmm. And they use that and spread it as a light dust mm -hmm. on these new OLED products. That means organic LED products. Yes. Which yes. means that light dust in your mm -hmm. flat screen TV will mm -hmm. allow an entity to come through. That part. Oh, it's and your mirror. Oh, and let her right. finish. My let her my TV. Let let her finish, y'all. Come on. Because Ooh. organic Ooh. Don't means jump on. alive. So that is why you should not have an old organic TV in your home, mm -hmm. because so you, you shouldn't have you shouldn't have what through it. You should not you have an have OLED what? TV. It's like a plasma TV. No, mm -hmm. it, it's a difference. They are called OLED. You need to look it, look it up. That's what they're starting to sell now. They're getting away from plasma TVs 
but an organic LED TV will allow an organic being to come yes. from your TV into your presence. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. that's like that's basic. It's like a super black mirror. And that's you know, so crazy and you said that. Also, also, um, oh, I just forgot. I'm sorry, y'all. I just had surgery on Tuesday, so forgive me. But God bless um, you. It is just really what we don't understand about a lot of that is they already have your DNA, especially in America. When you're born, they they stick your heel and put it yep. on a piece of paper and send it mm -hmm. off and say they're testing you for uh, PKU, which is a, a, a an enzyme disease. OK, well, I'm a nurse. I've been a nurse for 30 years. I've been in healthcare for over 40 uh 30 almost 44 years being paid working in a hospital i've never seen anybody with pku just like i there's no record of anybody ever dying of lockjaw which is why you have to take a tetanus shot hmm. so they get your dna from birth and yes they are looking for a specific type of dna but it's not what we think we're calling it the God particle. They're looking for the original closest they can get to the original blueprint of man, which was Adam. Yes. 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 They that's what I mean. Which is why if people think the ark was so large because it took a lot of animals. Well, you don't need a lot of room for eggs and for small infant animals. You don't need a lot of room, but you needed a lot of room to, to dig up and take the body of Adam. <laughs> Adam died. 40 years before the ark, before the flood. So God told Noah, dig up Adam and take him with you. Because if you leave him in the ground, Satan has the blueprint, the original blueprint. Why do you think they dig all over the earth? They ain't looking for nothing. They looking for the bodies. That's why I'm um, looking for yes. Moses' body too. Yep. Exactly. exactly. So, exactly. We, so we need to think differently than it's just... Um, us but oh this is what i was going to say now everybody donates plasma when you go to the plasma center you see our races in there correct yes what you don't understand is is a lot of those people that are not most of those people that are not us they get a letter in the mail telling them that their plasma was no was not able to be used wow so mm. they let them donate yep. because they can't tell them don't come in here and do it just and they take only black people because then we would know something was really up. Damn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So they gotta let everybody donate. Mm -hmm. But they That's don't what I was use it. Too long ago. <laughs> so you need to think about melanin. And melanin is, that, is a whole different. That's a whole different thing. They don't need. They need the plasma to they live. They need the plasma. Right, the, bla the Bible says the life is in the blood. They yeah. need the plasma. And what you don't understand is when they separate your blood, red blood cells, white blood cells, right. that's something totally different. Right. But your blood is the clear, the yellow clear plasma. That is the life that you need. And yes. that is what they need. They don't. That's why I do it. When you donate plasma, they give you back your red blood cells. They give you back your white blood cells. They give you back your platelets. They keep your plasma because they don't have an immunity system. They don't have immunity. This Ooh. is not their world. They need your melanin yeah. because they can't take the real sun. The which radiation. Is why they block the sun. Mm -hmm. And so I just wanted to call in and say that I was listening. I just found you, Ratchet. That's why I also put a comment earlier saying, y'all hit the like button because I guess that's how I found you. So many people are liking you and you came on my timeline. And so I was like, wow, you know, to be listening to this. I also filmed the eclipse from the beginning to the end. I sat in my driveway because it was right above my house, believe it or not. And mm -hmm. I filmed it from the beginning to end on my phone. And I was shocked when the picture that you just put up with the circle with the black uh, dot in it, mm -hmm. that dot actually was dancing. It was flipping and doing all kind of stuff. I have it on video. No, I, you're not really, lying because right before the eclipse, yeah, uh, right before it hit totality in Dallas, I had my I was watching it live and I was on a live stream. Well, I'm everybody in the everybody in the chat could see the screen flickering, like yes, pulsating mm. almost yes. like the sun was pulsating. I was like, what the fuck was this? Also, a few nights before the eclipse, I was outside with my, I have three dogs, but I was outside with my little 14 year old dog, right? It was maybe one in the morning in my backyard and I have a street light right outside my house, my yard. So it lights my yard up pretty good. And um, it was something flew by 
so mm. quick. It was so small. It was, I wouldn't have said anything, but like a day later, I saw a video of a guy talking about the same thing that something flew through their yard. They didn't know what it was. Mm. And it was so quick. It had my dog not been there and she reacted. She started barking in the direction that it flew. I was She's like, okay. right. I'm like, okay, I'm glad I didn't, I wasn't out here by myself because I'd have thought, you know, what did you just see? Mm -hmm. But my dog reacted to it. So there are so many other things that there are already um, things going on. Antimatter, the more they collect, brings chaos. Yeah. That's Ooh. why there was a void and chaos mm -hmm. yes, the right. at the earth. So yes. it brings so much chaos. Look at what this what's happening. That black woman just killed herself, killed her mm -hmm. husband, threw the babies mm -hmm. out the car. Look, that's, that's chaos. That's chaos. So we confusion. Do yeah, we know who is. the father of that is? Right. And so I just want, like I said, I, I just wanted to call in. My pain medicine gonna kick in in a minute. I'm gonna be asleep. But I was trying to fight it so I could get in and say that that we need to understand. Don't be buying those OLED products because that okay. allows that entity to be able to come sh straight out that TV like they're showing you with those high, high uh, 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 so let, me, let me ask you something. I got a QLED yeah. TV. You have a what, sir? QLED. Is that okay? Who is no, talking? That's the same hold thing. on, hold on. Who, changing I, it up. Who is talking? I couldn't even hear the question. Yes. That, that, yeah. That's D2X. What'd you say? He asked me what's the, oh, what's the Q? LED the is the same as an old LED. LED. I said yes. They the plasmas. They I got to play uh, Call of Duty. I, that's what I do. I play. I play a PS Five and shit. I've been streaming games. Well, so it'll be funny when that PS when they Call of Duty step out that screen <laughs> and start shooting at you. And okay. Ratchet, you want to hear something that's <laughs> so super crazy? Go ahead. My mom bought me like this eighty inch TV for my room, and this happened tonight. Like so. My daughter, she said, I just I just want to stay at my Nana's house tonight. I just want to stay at my Nana's house tonight. I was like, why? She was like, because your TV's so big and it's so bright and there's so much going on with your TV. I just don't want to stay in the house with your TV. That's not wow. Fair. She Children said, know. She Children know. Yeah. So we just need to be aware that I wanted to say that and I'm going to get off of here. I'm going to jump Ooh. off here unless somebody has a question. Okay. Like, hey, I can I ask you a question? Have a great night. night. Thank you. Sure. I think I'll come home. I come think on, I'll come home. One at a time, y'all. Can I ask her a question before she go? Sure. Okay. Um, When I was a young child, I went to the doctor with my grandmother and he asked me if I knew my blood type. But as a child, of course, you don't know. You don't even know why that's even significant. But he told me something. He says that I would be able to save lives, but nobody could save mine. What does that mean? Yes. Well, the what there's well, you have to remember that medicine, you know, we we have we're so skewed here in America. We've been taught so many lies and indoctrinated with so much. We need to understand, we need to come out of that. Mm -hmm. And um the truth about that is, you know, healthcare is not designed to heal anybody but the white male. OK, mm. that's the truth. Mm -hmm. So why would you be yes. asking a child who's at a, a doctor's appointment with their grandmother what your blood type is? What he was saying is, is that our blood is universal. It can. It does. Heal. He was. That's what I'm telling you. That is why they even when you donate blood, they take the plasma when you thinking you donate blood for something good. No, mm -hmm. they do the same thing when you donate blood for free. So you might as well yeah. get paid if you go donate. But at the yeah, end of the day, part. no, what he was saying is that you, you you are the, and as a black woman, not a, not just an African woman, because remember, we're not the same as most, 90% of Africans are not the same as us, which is why they were happy to sell our ass off the continent. Okay? Right. So we're not Very them. True. So the bottom line is, he was speaking to you. It's really funny how if if you're, we've all had, especially black women, we've had encounters with doctors, especially, who have said stuff like that to us, you know, just it passed by kind of slightly. And we don't think anything about it because we're like, where did it come from? That's all we go with. Right. But what right. they're telling you is they know that's why they took Henrietta Lake's sales and keep using them to this day. Why yes. do you think they're upset yep. about black women having home births? That means they can't get your placenta in that umbilical cord blood. You are talking yeah. Yeah. So, there, so you can save anybody. You can save, but you bring life. You're the giver of life. Listen, yes, do you know that most oh, I thought Caucasian I thought it had something women, to do with O, like O, O, no, o no, listen, negative. No, well, nope. it, listen, it doesn't matter to a certain degree because really there are all over 30 blood types. They only talk to 
you about four of them, okay? Wow. So you see what I'm saying? There is a blood. Listen, there was a video on TikTok last year of a young black woman saying she was pregnant for the first time, her and her husband. She went to the doctor. The doctor took her blood, like, you know, your first prenatal visit. They take your blood and stuff. So she said, mm -hmm. on the way home, which we all know women don't happen unless you, something is wrong. On the way home, they called her from the doctor's office and said, hey, can, listen, can you come back in? You have mm -hmm. a very rare blood type. Mm -hmm. So they mm -hmm. asked her also, could she bring her husband in? Mm -hmm. And she was like, no, no, I can't come back. They pestered this woman so long. What they, what she ended up finding out was she did not have A, A, B, O, which is what we all talk about. She might she have, all right. Rare, a very rare blood type, which meant she was closer to the original gene of man blueprint of man so i was I, I was like lord i put a comment on in the comments and said i don't know if you read your comments but you need to never see that doctor again and if i was you me and my husband would move and nobody would know where we were they're looking real. for the gene but they mm -hmm. know that all yes. of us have yes. the capacity now when it comes to the melanin why they need our melanin again is because they sunburn that's the reason why they brought us over to over here to as slaves the indians couldn't do it because remember they tried to enslave the indians first so they needed somebody who could work with when black men work in the sun we'd be looking at them like oh that's a good piece of chocolate mm -hmm. they know how that is that's why the white women was getting out of and then calling them right calling the R word okay so at the end of the day what if pharaoh said he was working he was working the uh the Israelite men 22 hours a day. Do you can you imagine working 22 hours a day? Well, they was going home, getting fed, eating, having sex, and going back to work because guess what else was happening? They was having more babies the more they worked. So mm. they know that we are more and mightier than them. They know that their son it strengthens us. They let mm -hmm. me say this too before I go. Every one of us as black women, if you've spoken to a, 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 a pale colored woman in the workplace 90% of the time or whatever, they've had multiple miscarriages. Um, yep. So why do you think they uh, we come up missing as young fertile women between the ages of 12 and 35? Mm -hmm. Because they need your uterus to reproduce. Wow. There is a they, yes, they say to you, when they say the men are going to that, you know, listen, ain't those men out there saying that they didn't need women no more because they can reproduce in a center? There will be a time when they will put a, a womb in a man's belly and let him carry a baby and take Prophesy. it out of the I understand they that. My kidney. husband is from Germany. They already doing right, They it. put a kidney. When you get a kidney transplant, they yes. put it right there in your belly. So Prophesy. they already making preparations to be able to have something artificial yeah. grow inside yes. of these men. Yes. So when the Bible says that the Antichrist will have no use for a woman, what do you think these men are saying to you? They don't need you to reproduce. Mm -hmm. So they and they only want to reproduce. Let's be real. So they have more people to SA. Okay, mm -hmm. y'all. I'm gonna go if everybody else don't have no questions. I, I Salute, understand that. Totally. You, Salute. you hit it right Salute. on. I appreciate, I appreciate you so much. Yes, yes, thank you for asking my question. I don't, uh, I don't uh, get into that stuff because my husband is from Germany. So he, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But he has spoken about a lot of stuff that's going on in his country and like when it comes to melanin and black women. So your husband like is, is so your husband is pale colored, is what you're trying to say? <laughs> he's he's a little pale. Okay, well listen, hey, listen, <laughs> we can't fault you for who you fell in love with and married. That's on you. You're gonna have to deal with the Lord about that. But at the end of the day, you know, that's what that's in them. That's all of them. So we can't just pick your husband out and say he's he's better because at the end of the Bible it says, you know, he it, the Lord never ever says that Esau will be redeemed. Yeah, never. Oh. So you know, sad to say oh, that you oh, made oh, that oh, choice. Oh, oh. I don't so know. Have a good night. <laughs> good night, boo. <laughs> yeah, my husband he a little car he not Caucasian. <laughs> she came and dropped all them gems real she quick. She did. She did. I want to add y'all. That's what I was trying to say earlier mm -hmm. about the um about the blood. That's all I. Was, but she could convey it better because I I I can't talk that great like that in front she of did. people. But she, she, did. she did it. Oh, I wanted to add. I something. wanted to add too, y'all. If y'all let me cook a little bit. Because with that, with that solar eclipse, you got to understand that our ecosystem is electromagnetic, 
okay it's the energetic place where we live in everything is energy so the atmosphere has a certain type of energetic component that is when it's at its homeostasis so when they put whatever they put in front of the sun which i've yeah. seen theories that people said it was like the chinese black sun when whatever they use to cover up the sun it changed hey, the electromagnetic field hey y'all do me a favor real quick i gotta yeah. run outside real quick to get something y'all hold it down shay hold my okay. panel down for me but y'all go you. ahead talk i'll be back give me like three four minutes i'll be right back okay go ahead <laughs> young lady that was just um talking okay but yeah when they when they put whatever they use to block the sun they change the electromagnetic uh energy of the atmosphere mm -hmm. and that that we saw that star that venus that's what is behind the um eye of the pyramid on the dollar bill that's venus also known as mithra also known as Ashira or Ashtar or Astarte okay, yeah, or okay. Ishtar. She's okay. also known as Inanna. This mm -hmm. is also what the Bible calls the horror of Babylon that rise a dragon or the bull, the okay. Taurus. Okay. When when you see these celebrities holding up what what we, we thought it was the bullhorn, the bullhorn hand sign is not bullhorn or it is bullhorns because it represents the taurus because venus is the star that rules in a taurus uh in a taurus constellation so when they hold up their hand sign what you really what they really holding up is the moon the crescent moon and um when the apparatus that they use to cover up the sun when it was moving into covering up the sun it made the sun look like a crescent moon and that's the hand sign that they're holding up to venerate uh, Venus. But it's and a so moon the outside. lock, the key that was given to them to be able to unlock the bottomless pit or the abyss or you what we would call the dark. Out tonight, right? Say it again. It's a crescent moon tonight. Well, where mm -hmm. I'm at. You're right. But the crescent moon is different than the crescent moon. And, we saw the crescent it's sun. One star out. It's just one star out. And me and my husband was looking at it, and we've been looking at the stars all night. Yeah, he's he's a white man, but at the end of the day, we've been looking at, like, after the eclipse, we've been looking at the sky. We didn't see, in North Carolina, we have not seen for the past five days no stars. We have not seen a moon. We've only seen a moon tonight, half of the moon, the crescent, and one star above it. Okay, can I, uh, I'm going to chime in. I'm going to say, y'all on to something, though. This is my one vision. Say, I'm going to tell y'all, do me a favor. If y'all don't have it, put in your phone on the Apple Pay or, or the Apple or the Google. If you got an uh, Apple or the other phone, the Android, hey, put in Skyview. So what I want y'all to do, download Skyview. And I need y'all, when y'all download Skyview, I want y'all to just go outside and track everything. So what it does is it just allows uh, camera access and you're able to see exactly what's in front of everything you're seeing. If nobody knew that. So I just wanted to bring that in to the people, into the panel. So y'all know it's called Sky View. Download it right now. And then you will literally see, like she just said, she made a good point. And then you made a good point because I'm the same way. I may go outside and like, now it's something in front of the moon. Then yeah. when I go on my sky view, I realize that's Venus. It's still in front of the moon. So basically like, okay, we can have a, a eclipse of the sun, but we're not having an eclipse of the moon. But they're saying the sun is lighting up the moon. It don't make sense. Mm -hmm. So if you get sky yeah, view, so anybody light up the moon, the moon already light is like it's it'll be two lights light. coming into each other. Husband the moon don't go dark. That's stupid. I know, but that's why I say just download Sky View and you can do 360 degrees all the way around. You can be in your house and just you can put your phone down. You can put it up. It'll show you the equator. It'll show you every star. It'll show you every constellation. It'll show you every sign in the sky as far as if you a Scorpio or Libra, etc. Like y'all will be surprised. 
that you can literally zoom in and it will pinpoint the star and give you exact name of that star. So please, right, if y'all can download right, this tonight because I love this conversation. And a lot of people was moon tracking on that day, and a lot of the moon trackers were saying that damn moon was nowhere near the sun. So they were they been asking what the hell was that in front of the sun because the moon, according to the trackers, the moon was not even by the sun, and the moon don't even travel in that direction. Yeah, and that's why my my husband yeah, took, makes no sense. He took my daughter. He took our daughter out of school. Hey, I want y'all to know some uh, that picture. Uh, it was one of the photos or videos that Ratchet just sent y'all. And y'all know it looked like a rainbow that was around the sun. It was like real huge. Mm -hmm. It's visible to our naked eye, but we don't see it. I would say like I was, uh, I used to fish back over here in, uh, I'm in foreign, I'm in Texas. So I was at, uh, I was in foreign yeah, Texas cool. fishing at a lake. And I literally took a picture of that same circle. Like I was amazed because it looked like a rainbow a perfect circle but that's what it is that's behind the sun and sometimes it shows itself and also oh those ice crystals oh they tell you about okay, you guys, hold on slow down for question. one second um ratchet you back right yeah i'm back okay i have hold on 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 let's shake talk um, okay, she can, um, the gentleman that was just talking, he was um sharing with everyone that it's um some app you can um download. Could you Skyview? Uh, Skyview. It's called Skyview. Download it on your phone right now. Apple and uh, Android. Download it right now. You can literally sit in your house and you can be. A outside anywhere and just aim it towards exactly what you're looking at and any star anything you see in the sky is going to tell you the thing is they don't even want us to know the planets that's next to you know or the constellations so you're going to be able to see everything it's called right, hold, sky on, hold, on, hold on hold on hold on this is what i'm gonna show you hold on give me a second i'm gonna show you something since you mentioned that let's see allow all right, so let's go to Dallas. Hold on, let me see something. You said Skyview. Let me do this. Yes, sir. Turn up, Ratchet. <laughs> let's go to. Dallas. Let's go. All right, let's go. Dallas, Texas, Skyview. Okay, here we go. All right, so this is what I get. My bad. I didn't mean to do it. Uh, so this is what I get when I go to the Skyview. Let's move move this out the way. And this is Skyview right here. Yes, sir. Okay. How the hell they got Mars and Saturn on this motherfucker? What the Can fuck? Can you hear me now? What the fuck? Hold on, Mars. Look at this shit. Yeah, I'm going to teach you something. What the fuck? Neptune. So where is the moon and Venus right now? Yeah, you can find it. Just If you download it on your phone, y'all can download it and just start moving your phone around. It's gonna that's show you what they everything. doing. They're trying to get whatever whatever entities and deities in these planets. They're using CERN to uh to smash it to smash together the atoms to open up portals in the in the heavens because the same thing that's in every single atom is called a quark. At the uh, core of an atom is called a quark, and that's basically light flickering back and forth. So if you smash the atoms together, you can make the quarks hit each other. And what they say is they're trying to recreate the Big Bang. But what it is, is they recreated the Big Bang in reverse. So the Big Bang, when God spoke, let there be light, it was a bang that separated the antimatter from our light ecosystem where we live in. And so now by them smashing those atoms together, they're going to portal all those demonic entities and antimatter yes. back into our realm. So I want to chime in. Can I, can, I can I say something right quick? Everybody. Okay. I want to Listen. say that uh, you had you had mentioned that whenever they put this big black thing in front of the sun, it kind of changed the, I guess you want to say like the negative the and electromagnetic field of the of our atmosphere. And yes. That atmosphere change is a is a uh, a port. When yes. you change the atmosphere like that, you open up a, a gateway in the heaven. You so can't with see it. Said, I wanted to. That word you use, that, with that being said, that lady dropped a lot of gems about like 
our bodies and what they need from us and energy mm -hmm. and you know with all this mm -hmm. electron neutrons mm -hmm. protons if that's mm -hmm. the case is they using whatever they blocked the real sun with or if that was the fake sun i'm not really sure but is they using that yes. to take the energy from us particular people you know what i'm saying yes, it is. Yeah, i'm married mm -hmm. to a caucasian man or whatever you want to say or whatever people are like oh you married to a white man but he talks about like how his family used to talk about like the melanin people because he's from Germany. So a lot of people come from Africa and he used to talk, he'll talk about how powerful they are and how a lot of people want to be like them. And yeah. yeah. Because so the melanin, the body like is. Saying, I'm not gonna lie, we're good now and stuff like that. But I used to be like, oh, so you want to marry me because I'm a black woman? Well, I don't really know what I was trying to say in so many words. Like a lot of stuff that's going on with CERN and what we can't, you know, the people that's not supporting it, they still like trying to do something in the in the atmosphere with the sun and all this radiation, just everything to try to yeah, they want the sources of us in some form of fashion. Yes, ma'am. I just want to elaborate on what you were saying. Yes, that they're doing that intentionally to block the energy from us, and not just that, because then their their bloodline will die off they cannot stand withstand the radiation the heat that's coming from the sun so this is planned if you kind of listen into like the federal uh pre presidential elections and all of that kind of stuff and they talking about the ecosystem the solar system and this is on the third they say it right in there it just go over people's heads because they're tuning in for whatever they're tuning in for i don't understand what you're saying i can't explain it like yeah. this but i'm just saying that this interesting to me that all this stuff we talked about long ago people thought we was crazy but now it's all coming to the front, the yeah. first. And it's like, I know for a fact that all this information is just really giving me the thinking if they, of course, they're trying to take us out. We always say that all these vaccines, whatever, whatever. But mm -hmm. it then got real strange <laughs> that, you know, they say we particles of the dust and all this and that, you know how that go. But hey, um, I want to, I want to <clears throat> just say this real quick, excuse me. Uh, but Dick Gregory, uh, if y'all tapped into Dick Gregory, please uh -huh. do that. And um, and even with the chemtrails, he told you about the metals because our body are is naturally made of water and metals, right? But he right. told you about everything that they're spraying in the air. And uh, I remember one uh, uh, teaching that I was listening to, and he talked about how, like, in the spring and the summer, why African Americans would get so mad or crime would go up due yeah. to this spring of these chemicals that's mm -hmm. in the air. So I want people to really open their mind up. Yes, that melanin, think about it. We don't have to wear sunscreen. See we what don't. I'm saying? Like when we go on vacation, we can just go on vacation, get in salt water, take us a shower, and we Gucci. You hear me? But but as far as people that don't have the mel melanin or the they said that, you know, people that don't have the melanin, I won't, you know, get into, you know, white or black, but a lot of them were genetically, you know, so to speak, you know, uh, brought to... Exactly. So... I want, uh, I want to add on to what you're saying. Yeah, I don't uh, like you to go get ahead to that. Can I, can I say something to you, I definitely you wanted to add on to what you're saying. Okay. Hello? Oh, oh, that yeah. I want I basically want to say with the melanin. The oh, okay. oh, yeah. Um, basically with the melanin in itself, it's literally ancient nan nanotech for us. Like it, it's automatic with everything. That's why we can feel very deeply. I'm talking about just even like forget just emotions. Like physically, there's yeah. also there's also when it come down to um other sensory um functions. The thing about it too is that it's very potent when it comes down to you know the fusion of that with blood. You know, you, when you have um, melanin by itself, it's it, it it does a lot on its own, but it's also and not that's very really useful. crazy because my husband really talks about his kid. I don't. He's great, but my husband is great. He's a great man, but he really talks about how 
he wants his kids to be powerful. He wants, he's in two with a black woman. He understands a black woman more than uh, he does, but he's from Germany. Okay. So D but there's a deep history. You know I wanted to he say loves, he loves me to the point of like, yeah. I'm on live right now. He sleep. Anything like he loves me to the point is like crazy. Sometimes I tell him like you're you're absurd. Oh, no. Sometimes oh, I'm like, are you like obsessed? And he's like, no, you're it's just that because he's a Christian. He's like, no, I'm supposed to protect, provide. I'm supposed to do this, that, and the third. I know that you're Mother Earth and you're this, that, and the third. That's why I was supposed to marry a black woman. I'm like, okay, baby, I love you. I understand these things, but. He's so in tune with like. That's why I'm so more awake. Even though can I can I chime in right quick? Listen, man, it's it's not about this stuff right here, y'all. They doing this to keep you away from the Most High. I'm so serious, man. That's what, that's what it's about. It's not. It's all the pet. We'll see in the closing sections when I when I read these passages, man. Y'all will understand that that the whole story been here the whole time, man. These people lost so much. It's ridiculous, man. They can't okay. beat the creator. That's what's going on. So they you try to beat the creator. One at a time, y'all. 15 years. So I'm going to say this, and I'm going to go, because I got to go to work in the morning. But I'm going to say this. I understand what you're saying. I understand what everybody's point of view is. I just want to say that with what I last said about taking energy from our people, like from us, it's something about us in these times we can't be charged or something like it, it, everybody's so exhausted headache it, it's something with that i don't know yet i'll try to i Round. guess i'll, I'll Round. see right right because Round. It, it's just Round. affecting too many of us like that like something about that we gotta decode that something about us we can't just be getting <laughs> weak like that it's not the time for that something is going on with this sky the energy i don't know but i just wanted to say thank you for letting me come on the platform ratchet uh thank y'all for y'all respect and you know for letting me speak uh i learned a lot tonight a lot of gems dropped and so I just, you. I appreciate you. hey uh before she leave ratchet can i tell yeah. her this though that energy that she's feeling i want her to know too um if you notice and i want you to google this as well 3 a.m in the morning like i wake up at 3 a.m it's a spiritual enlightenment right which is that energy and then also when you go outside and they call it vitamin d from the sun so it's the energy it's the magnetic energy whether it's we're standing up we're on a concrete we're getting from the sun so start to process that and if you start to catch yourself waking up in the middle of the night just start to pray and just start to do whatever you think and you envision and you dream of just start to do that because we're tapping into uh what they call the age of consciousness so i'm gonna leave it at that won't be long-winded yeah. I, I thank you for that i know when i go outside i'm worried now about this new sun or whatever going on hopefully i can get charged up <laughs> before you leave can i tell something about thing. the sun i seen <laughs> go ahead get your get your shit out you said one more thing go ahead yeah the melanin literally needs the sun to to like basically not recharge our melanin what it does is it converts you know the the, the sun's rays into information for the body that's another reason why it's so important. When it's blocked off, it actually causes our body to go into a deficit. Like there's a yeah. there, there, there's a deterioration because it's not getting a constant level of um of waves that it uses to actually live. So it actually our the, the next thing I wanted to mention is our melanin actually uses a, another form of of feeding our body. Like it's another form of that. Okay. Well, thank y'all. I just, I just want to know why these clouds are changing colors. Because when I look at the sun today, and it was so bright, it was like a like a like someone held up a mirror, like you hold up a mirror. And then when I would look at the clouds, the clouds is like all these different colors. Like they were like pink, they were green, they were blue. And I thought that I was tripping. But when a young man said something about that sun having a rainbow around it, it is yeah. that's not those clouds are not real either because they were just they were um just they were disappearing i could see them they're moving but they were changing colors as i was looking at the sun and i would look at the clouds 
something is going on out there and I'm vitamin D deficient. So I know sun when I feel sun, that sun is not real. Yeah, hey, Ratchet, if you can do me a favor, that uh, picture uh, when you were going through your photos earlier in your show, can you show the people again that ring around that sun? It looks like a rainbow. That's actually there. It's visible to us in our visible eye, but we don't see it. That's what they're hiding. It, it, it looks like a bubble. Like, you know, how it, we exactly. Do? Like how you put water into, into mm -hmm. a glass and then you see all the rainbows and whatnot. It, it seems like yes. that. And I wanted to say that it, it is a war that's coming. And I seen a documentary of, it, it was two, it was a lady and a man that went to Antarctica and they went in this building and they went, they took an elevator down and they had almost every plant seed that in, the, in this whole, whole world. Like they're preparing for it, just in case something bad happens, they need something to grow. It's like they, it's in a, in a, like it's in in a cage, or it's like it's levels, different levels. I'm talking about trillions of seeds and what and whatnot seeds nobody ever heard of. This and that and the third for every country, every plant they had. I seen it. I'm, I'm gonna look it up and try to find it, but it's trust me, it's something coming. I just that's just what I wanted to let you hey, know. Hey, boss man, and I'm gonna say this. When Can I saw uh, uh, my fault, real hold quick, on, hold, I mean, on, hold on one second. We got somebody new in here. What's okay. going on, Robert? Not much, man. Go ahead, Robert. You got the floor. I just wanted to say, uh, I, I fully subscribe tonight because you're 100% on point, and I'm very surprised that people are talking about this right now. But I've been reading Revelation my entire life and waiting for this, and a lot of people are going to be shocked because. The whole world's been under a guise because Satan's had control over all of it. Thanks. He took he took Jesus to the highest point and said, look, I give you all these kingdoms. He wasn't just talking about one. He was talking about the world. He That's tried right. to tempt him. Oh, yes. Yes. And I, I tell you another thing, too. You're going to find pyramids all over this world and they don't found them down in Antarctica. That's something to be looked at right there. The man established his kingdom all over this earth. Ain't nobody paying attention. That's facts, man. You speaking facts. Oh, yeah. But man. everything in Revelation can be is used to be... harvest uh, yeah. energy, too, to open portals in the uh, right. sky because the, all of the all of it is they're positioned on what's called ley lines. And that's yep. basically just energetic hot spots on the earth. And so if you turn them all on at, at the same time, you're going to open up something in the sky to let something in. And he that's melted. basically what Albert Cole did him. when he did his, right. one of his biggest rituals of his lifetime. He was in Cairo, Egypt. That's when he met the great alien named Iwas. Yep, yep. Oh, yes. The oldest and ones. Remember, Book of Enoch talk about this stuff, about the portals. The, the, see, the sun go through portals, too. That's what they were trying to do in CERN. They trying to mess with these portals that the sun, the moon go through, the star. Like, it's portals all over this earth. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And the, the, the Most High already spoke on those things. They're going to come up the wrong way. He said he's going to treat them like these. Like, nothing yep. they're doing ain't documented. He already knows what they're doing. Yep, and, yep. Uh, and they're, well, they're, then they're, one, uh, one thing I want to say too: Don't let them fool you. They're doing it in Las Vegas right now uh, with these uh, holograms. You know how they bring back Tupac and bring back Biggie, and they're on stage. So these holograms are being projected in the sky as well. So please uh, keep your consciousness and your third eye open, your pineal gland open to what is actually happening in the sky as well. Just don't be fooled. The most high told yeah. us to look up yeah, into the sky yeah. so we didn't know the signs yeah. of his coming. Mm -hmm. So Yeah, yeah. And that's what I'm about to read on today, y'all. I'm about to read it on y'all. If they say I'm over here, don't don't believe it, you know, because that's they're right. going to be able to project him being mm -hmm. over there or what he looked like or whatever it does. Mm -hmm. Don't be he deceived. Said, don't believe don't, it. Don't, don't he said, it. like from from the from lightning strike from the uh, west to the east, the mm. whole world gonna be able to see him. Everybody gonna see him coming. It ain't gonna Y'all be no whole projectile. You ain't gonna have to go nowhere to find him. Right. Oh yes. Yeah. Right. All right, we got somebody new in the building, y'all. Genie, how you doing? 
I am doing very well. How are you? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you. You got the floor. I, Go ahead. I've got my I got my TV on. I but I want I don't I'm new yeah, and mute I it for me. Mute that TV for me. Yeah, mute that TV and then go ahead and talk. There you go. Thank you. All right, go ahead. Once again, my name is Jeannie Zachary. And I've been listening to this conversation. I'm spiritual. And everything that you say is on point. I've been trying to tell a story for a long, long time. And I'm in my bedroom. I'm just laying back. I'm tired. And I was walking and pacing the floor because God has given me something for this country. And I hear people talk about things that I've heard the word of God tell me that they're looking for me. This is. And God told me to write this story. I have written it. My daughter can uh, speak for me as well. My son as well. I'm 70 years old. I don't, I'm on my way out. But I have a story to tell that God told me to tell. And I've been trying to tell it to church folks. They don't want to hear it. But you guys are talking about it tonight. Everything that you're talking about, Listen. God has spoke to me. Yes, if this is a spiritual matter. One that I've yeah. been going through since 1994. Where yeah. I had an out-of-body experience. And with this out-of-body <laughs> experience, I went through a lot. But it brought me through a series of of interventions with spiritual uh uh connections with hearing a voice speaking to me i'm really being honest now i'm i'm bearing my soul and i look on this tv tonight and i see the very name of the of of the book that god a uh, poem god told me to write that the time is now like I said, I died, if you can believe that. I, believe I died it. and I've gone and I've come back again. But the things that I'm saying right now, I'm bearing my soul. And, I, and, and I, when I'm walking the floor, I'm talking to the Lord and I'm saying, Father, what is this? He said, I've said things to you and you won't even say them. But God told me that when I come forth, it will change things to the way it was supposed to be. I've known this for some time, but who would believe it? We because they're looking for someone. I was told this. I was also told that I did not have a birth certificate. You know, by the spirit of the Lord. And I'm saying, what? I got a birth certificate. But I went to get a birth certificate and they didn't have a birth certificate on me. So they had to make a birth certificate. Do y'all hear me or you think I'm just playing? No, go I'm listening. Because I'm being real. I'm bearing my soul. And I'm walking the floor and I'm talking to God and, and, and he said, I told you to tell it. And I look at the TV, I turn it on. And for some reason, God is my sacred witness. I look up there and I see him tell me the time is now. And I'm pacing the floor saying, oh, no, no, not like this, Lord. Not like this. You know, I had to write a story. He told me to call this story that I wrote, <clears throat> The Great Confession. Mm -hmm. I was there. One of my situations with the Lord, this was back in the year 1999. This is just a testimony. And the house I lived in burned to the ground. 
And the book that I had written was the only thing that was saved within a fire. Oh, y'all don't hear what I'm oh, saying. I hear you. Go I ahead, thank y'all. Oh, I think I'm I lost my mind. I'm just about to do that. Church, preach, tabernacle, all the world. Because I'm saying something is happening to me that has been given to me for some time. And I have been worrying and trying to tell church folks, and you know what? I have been sit down. I have no humiliation, but God told me that uh, ordination was not for me. And I would never be ordained. There have been people that have tried to do it. But God didn't allow it to be so. Because he had said it was not to be. But he painted us a, a picture that you guys are really talking about tonight. I can't hold my peace. If I'm going too long, I, I know you said everybody's supposed to have five minutes. I'm trying to give them their respect. Well, but if I'm going, going on, keep please going. Tell me. Let them no, you, you good, you good. Go ahead, talk, talk, talk. Well, talk, I'm, talk. I'm telling you something. This ain't nothing that I cannot prove. Mm -hmm. In the book of Revelation, God said to him that will overcome, I will give him a white stone. And Amen. in that stone, a new name. That's and, right. and nobody would know the name except the person that received the stone. I received the stone. Mm. Salute to you, Janie. I'm telling the truth here. I received the stone. God bless you. And God told me to call my story a great confession. I believe you me. I've gone through hell. I've been separated from my family. They don't want to have <laughs> nothing to do with me. And I love them to my heart. My mother died. My brother died. My husband died all in a year. Wow. For these, God and my you, God husband God. died December the 31st, 2021. God bless you. He didn't even come into the new year with me. But he knew my story. He had a white rock as well. But it was not like mine. That started our communication. He was 11 years older than me. But he was a blessing in my life. He was a man to God. And I thank God for it. But as I started walking this floor. And I looked. And I saw this. It says. Uh, now is the time. I, I went and I got my book. And I started writing. But God said, no, call in. I called in. I got in. I got out. <clears throat> I went through a situation. You know what I mean? I couldn't do it. Because this is truly a great confession. I'm bearing my soul. Because I know that now is truly the time to do it. Yes, ma'am. If it's ever going to be done. But I'm going to read something to you because today is what? The 13th. Let me read this to you. When I, when I, when I, when I was talking to the Lord, I said, on the 13th, Lord, if anybody know anything about numbers, that's a holy number. It's a, it's, it's a, it's a number, but I need to read it. A portion of it, if that's okay. Mm hmm it says the number 13 is associated with depravity and rebellion. This number usually is associated with evil or badness. It is found some 15 times in the Bible. All the names of Satan are divisible by 13. Mm -hmm. The names of reproach given to our Lord on the cross, Jesus of Nazareth is also divisible by the number 13. Did anybody know that? What name of reproach? Jesus. Yeah, I knew. I counted the, I also counted the number of the beast, but 
I can't. I don't know. Well, listen. Yeah. Yes, I understand That's that. That's so powerful for what you're saying. Because when you go into Isaiah 66, the verse 6, it's the voice of noise from the city. It's the voice of the noise from, from the temple. It's the voice of the noise uh, of God. It's the voice of God giving recompense back to his back to, to his enemy. Amen. God is the only one that can fight this battle. He told us that way back when. He said, the battle don't belong to you. It belongs no. to me. This war started a long time ago, long time in, ago. In, in, in the heavens with him. And the devil came down. I'm just going to have to show it to you like God showed it to me. The devil came down and went into the garden. But when he came down, he said, he said I'm, I'm going to make war with the woman. And when he got down here, he bypassed Adam, did he not? Mm -hmm. I'm just yeah. knowing what he did. He bypassed Adam and he went to Eve. And when he got to Eve, he deceived her. Yep. And God's word said, I'm not mocked. Whatsoever man soweth, that goes for the devil too. Whatsoever man soweth, because that's his spiritual law, that shall he also reap. Mm -hmm. God told me the most important word in that particular scripture was that. That shall you also reap. And so uh, the devil, he, he come down here to destroy the kingdom of the Lord God Almighty, but he used the woman. Mm -hmm. He got to reach the woman. And you will yeah. find that yeah. in Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66, <laughs> 6, when God said, out of Zion, out of Zion, do you read on down? Out of Zion. And as soon as Zion travail, y'all better hear me crying right about now. As soon as Zion travail, she brought forth. I'm just telling what God told me. I, I was up in Cummins, Georgia uh, uh, when I started early out on my journey. And, and, and I was up there. There were no black people up there. Not one. They were found on the books, but not one. This is documented. You'll find it in the newspaper, the Atlanta Journal Constitution. I, I I can't tell you what year. It's a few years back. I don't got to be a certain amount of age. I don't always remember like I need to. Praise okay. God. Is that all right? Like all I said, right. I'm seventy years. I'm seventy one years old. Amen. But I got the promise. Three score and ten. I, I I made it, praise God, hallelujah. Because if it was not for him, I would not be where I am today. Lost mm -hmm. everything, ain't worried mm -hmm. about nothing today. I'm telling you, God is able. And he has been talking to me for years that I have to tell my story. I've already written it and I said, well, God, how am I supposed to tell somebody? But God's going to smooth. He's coming back for his people. That's, That's right. the time in the word that the people are just going to go missing. We're going to know where to go. He's going to be there. I had that dream and he woke me up from it. And I'm screaming and hollering because he didn't take me in the dream that I had. <laughs> All right. Hold on. So one, I had to holler out, Lord, one why? Second. One second, man. One second. One second. I do. I do appreciate you for speaking all that time. I mean, I, I'm really, I'm really feeling everything you're saying. We got somebody on the panel who has not got to speak yet. True. What's up, True? This, this is what I was saying. Well, anyway, oh, hold, hold nevertheless. On one, second, one, one second, man. One second. Let me, let me let this uh fella get in here. I think he's been wanting to say something for a while. True, you there? Yeah, man. I'm just tapping in, listening. What's going on, man? Okay, yeah, okay. I thought you wanted to say something. I appreciate you, brother. All right, uh, so this is what we're going to do now. I appreciate you, Truth, for joining in. Uh, What we're going to do now, I want everybody, I'm going to go one by one. I want y'all to give me y'all final thoughts. And then, ma'am, I'm going to let you get the, I'm going to let you get the final word. Just stay up here with me, Jeannie. I'm going to let you get the final word in. But uh, starting with Love Journey, go ahead, Love Journey. Give me your final thoughts on today. Yes, um, panel. I just, I just, I appreciate you guys so much, um, especially, you know, the the host of, you know, 
the, the panel, which is you, you know, Ratchet, I, you know, how we, when you're in church, you say giving honor to God, to pastor, mm-hmm. the first lady, whoever, but no, I'm just playing. But I, I really want to thank you for opening up this dialogue because it was so needed. And I think it's given a lot of people an outlet that felt like that their voices were not being heard. Mm-hmm. Like we felt so um, burdened with this truth that we wanted to try to get out. But at the same time, you have to kind of suppress it for the platforms, YouTube, Facebook and all of that, because you will get shadow banned and things of that nature. Or, you know, they look at your comments and they say, oh, well, we need to pay attention to this person because they may be onto something. So, you know, you have to live this life in fear. Whoever's talking and, in the background, mute your mic. You know, they constantly have you living in a life of fear. But then, you know, after 19, then I said that if 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 the if. if my Yah told me that he did not give me the spirit of fear, then who gave it to me? And why do I have to um, be submissive to it or feel like I have to be silenced in any type of way? So I'm so glad that I found, you know, your, 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 um, your page and I've been following you, like I said, for quite some time. So I just thank you that I, I, I stood, (laughs) I stood the test and I, I stood around and I watched and I listened and because I'm a listener. That's one thing I do have the ability to listen. So um, I'm so glad and I'm so grateful for everyone on the panel and just peace and blessings to everyone. I appreciate oh, yes. you. Love, Johnny. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow or later. Tonight. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, All joy. Right. You next. Thank you so much. Good night. Joy. Good night. Go ahead. Joy. Jay, my bad. I call you Joy. Jay. Yes, Jay. I keep calling you Joy. I'm so sorry. Okay, that's why I'm like, okay, I don't know if you call me or somebody else. I'm so sorry. Go ahead. No problem. Okay, I just wanted to um end with everything is energy, everything is frequency of vibration and resonance. Those are some key words that you can look up and learn about because everything boils down to that. We're dealing with energetic frequencies and entities, creatures and beings that we cannot see, but they have full fledged societies in the in the bush, in the woods, in the forest, in the water and in the air, in the sky. Right before we get to the throne of God, there are full fledged societies and creatures and beings that are there with us and layered on top of our reality. But we can't see them, but they are there. The reason we can't see them is because we can only see about 1% of the electromagnetic spectrum. But dogs and other animals that can see infrared and other things. I'm I'm listening, but go ahead. I'm going to put down my uh, headphones for one second, but go ahead. I'll be back. Dogs and other animals that can see outside of the electromagnetic spectrum further than we can, they can see and sense these beings and entities when they're around, which is why it's good to have them. Um... Another thing about Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, his spirit, Jesus Christ is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is Jesus Christ. When you accept Jesus Christ into your life and you receive the Holy Spirit, just like I said, the universe, the world, the earth has ley lines and energy points and hot spots. So does our human body. That's why they use acupuncture. It's a real thing. You're not supposed to tap into that stuff, but we do have energetic centers. What we're supposed to do. As melanated people and believers, we're not supposed to be poking ourselves, bloodletting and getting tattoos and doing all that and shedding our blood willingly. We're not supposed to be donating, especially. What we're supposed to do is seek the most high Mm -hmm. and seek to receive the Holy Spirit because the Bible says that we will receive a seal. And the um, occult people, they know it as like chakras, but like I call it, it's just energy points that the Holy Spirit will come in and fill our soul, fill our being with light and we will be sealed. That means our aura, which interacts directly with the inner space that's around us, our aura will be full of light. And this antimatter that CERN is portaling in and these blood sacrifices and this sexual immorality, all this stuff coupled together is portaling in these evil demonic mermaid and elf and uh, centaur, all these different hybrid and cryptid 
demons, they're going to materialize one one day. We will see them with our very eyes. They're, they will become flesh because of there's going to be a critical mass where the evil will reach critical mass, just like in the days of Noah. Every man, the desires of every man will be evil to the point where it's going to be so wicked that there will be almost no flesh left. That's why they. That's why he had to save Noah his family so quickly because it was about to be no real actual human genome left in this planet, in this universe. Okay, so we need to receive the Holy Spirit and get sealed up and get that light body. That is the exact type of body that we're going to need when we rise again, especially when we go into um, the next dispensation where we're ruling everybody. We Thank need to protect our melanin because our melanin is a Thank light processor. It's like a computer. We receive the light from the sun in, in, in light pockets. And Thank it you, goes Jay. into our skin oh, and okay. our melanin can Jay, contain Jay, it and process you, Jay, it and make Jay, it Jay, useful you, for Jay. us. Hey, thank you, Jay. Jay. Yeah, you go. Okay, you okay, go, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> we'll save some of this for tomorrow. Thank you, Jay. I appreciate you for calling in tonight, Jay. You got a lot of game. Make sure you back here tomorrow. Make sure you come back up here tomorrow. I appreciate Okay, you. okay. For sure. I'm sorry. All right. No, no, no. No problem. Good night. I appreciate you. Mile oh, one. Mile one. Go ahead, uh, boss. Hey, boss, let the ladies go first, boss man. All right, who is it? Shay, go ahead, Shay. Okay, I just want to say salute to everybody. And um, don't be fearful. Stay salute. prayerful. And um, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thank you, Shay. Good night. Yes. Good night. God bless you. All right, mile one, go ahead. Yeah, no, nah, I wanted to say she did tap into something because I know that uh, you also have... Uh, animals as well but during the eclipse uh my um frenchie so my emoji is actually a real dog like that's that's uh my buddy and uh he he did act really kind of weird so i'll be really quick but he just you know he actually tucked up under my truck while i was sitting outside taking those pictures that i sent you and um but i get the energy from the animals so that she she was she hit it on the head when she said like sometimes like even when i'm in the house like my dog can hear something from afar or he can just know something strange so just know that yes animals do uh if you are an animal lover just know that um if you don't know what's going on in the world like maybe an animal can help you out as well mm -hmm. just so you can kind of be on point so mm -hmm. I'll say that to say as well, though, um, I would tell people if they want something they never had, you got to do something you never done. And um, what we did and what Ratchet TV did. So please, for Ratchet TV, man, give that man a round of applause tonight, man. Y'all hit that like and subscribe button. Stomp mm -hmm. down on that uh, like button. Stomp down on that subscribe button. Man, salute to Ratchet TV. Salute to the chat. Salute to the panel. And salute to the game, man. And y'all know how I'm coming, man. I'll be back like I left some. Thank you, Ratchet. Man, I'm proud to be able to uh talk about consciousness and be on uh a real panel and be on some um knowledgeable and um educational uh topics so thank you ratchet i'll see you later boss man be back like i left son all right man make sure you hit me up yes. on the ground bro I, I uh i'm gonna run that shit you sent me tomorrow but hit me man up you got to you got to stomp down on it you hear me all right salute all right pimp salute the car go ahead Oh, yeah, something I definitely wanted to leave with, and that is that thing that is here. It It's already done the worst damage outside of this this planet. The reason why I, I mentioned earlier there's, a, there's actually a response to it being here is because it's already done damage in other places. For example, Mars is one of them. That's where a, a lot of us used to exist. And so what happened there was mutually assured destruction. You know, like when there's a nuclear event and there's nuclear wars, how it, how at some point everything basically gets blown to, to oblivion. Well, that soul energy had to go somewhere else to restart. And that's basically what we got here. That's what happens when there was no response. And so now it is definitely back to actually <laughs> like, consume more and more what it does is it consumes off a of complete chaos and um 
destruction because that you know the the fear the the actual energy from that itself it feeds off of um if we don't actually protect our energy if we do not step on this that is what's going to happen we see what's going on with you know all these wars around the world that is why there's this response this is that serious it's already done stuff in other places before and the result was mutually assured destruction I appreciate you, brother. Oh, yes. Salute. Thank you. I appreciate you. And right, also the tomorrow. panel. And, you know, this was definitely enlightening. Salute to you, man. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, yes, definitely. Thank you. Robert. Go ahead, Robert. Man, I just got to say, I don't believe in coincidence. And uh, this is definitely a divine appointment for a lot of people. Um, the last gentleman, he's on point. He's on point. Some things definitely happen on Mars. We won't understand that until God explains it to us. But he didn't create all these different planets and stars for no reason. And uh, the other young lady, I got to give her props, man. She is so knowledgeable. I just, I'm baffled, man, because I thought I was the only one looking into all this stuff. But she's on point, man. She's, she's 100% on point. Um. I just want to say, man, thank you for this opportunity to have this open forum. Um, it takes a lot of courage to do that, especially in this day and age. Uh, but yeah, I'm very much appreciative for you doing that. I appreciate you. And uh, one of the biggest things I want to say, man, is uh, there ain't but one thing that's going to save you out of this world. And that's the Lord Jesus Christ. He told you flat out, don't no man come to the Father, but through me. And if that's the only message I can promote, I want to push that as best as I can. And the only other thing I really want to say is I can't wait to meet all y'all and see all y'all in heaven, man, because we're going to be there one day. We ain't going to have no memories of the bad and the sad and, and the doom and the gloom. But we're going to have all these plenty of full memories of the joy and the love. And I just can't wait to, to get there and just like hug all y'all, man. This is going to be great. This is going to be great. When we get there, it's going to be great. You know, Thanks. and uh, I really appreciate it. And God bless you and God bless everybody who, who joined tonight and catches this on a later broadcast, you know, because this is special. It's really it. special. We all got ears to hear right now and eyes to see. And uh, so long as you got them ears and them eyes, you ain't going to be deceived because the Lord's got his in his hand and ain't none to be taken away. You know what I'm saying? So right. thank you, man. Thank you. I appreciate you. I'll see you tomorrow. Make sure you come back. Yeah, man, I will for real, for real. All right, definitely, we'll, we'll be having these conversations every night. So I appreciate you. Absolutely. All right, thank you. Good night. Good night, brother. All right, uh, DTX, go ahead. All right, Shalom. First, I must her all glory to the Most High Yahuwah Elohim in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Those are the names of the Father and the Son. Let me read this to y'all because this is what's going on. Us on this man, this right here is uh Matthew chapter 24 and three. Okay, you're like, you're like cutting in and out. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me? I can hear you, but you like going in and out. Go ahead, though. All right, all right. This is right here is Matthew chapter 24. And I'm gonna start from verse three, and it says, And he sat upon the Mount of Olives. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the signs of thy coming and the end of the world? And it says, And Yahushua answered unto them and said, Take heed that no man deceive you. For, um, for many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. It says, for nations shall rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. It says, all these things are the beginning of sorrows. It says, then ye shall be delivered up to be afflicted and, sh and shall kill you. It, it says, then they shall deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then many 
it says, then shall many be offended and shall betray one another and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. You know, it says, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. But she, but he that shall endure until the end, the shame shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached unto all the world for a for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. Mm -hmm. It says, it says, uh, I'm almost done, y'all. It says, uh, where, uh, when you therefore uh, shall see the ab abomination of desolation spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place. Daniel. He who reads, let him understand. It says, then let him which be in Judah flee into the mountains. Let him which is on the housetop not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return back to take his clothes. And what unto them that are with child and them that are give suck in those days, meaning those who pregnant and those have little kids. It says, but pray ye that your flight be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For then shall be great tribulation since as was not since the beginning of the world to this time, nor ever shall be. It says, and except those days be shortened, there shall be no flesh saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be short, shall be shortened. Then if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. For there shall rise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders. And so much, <laughs> if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. That's what we're going through right now. So they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore they say, it said, wherefore, if they shall say unto you, behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as lightning cometh out of the east and shineth unto the west, so shall also the, sun, the coming of the son of man shall be. For whatsoever the carcass is, there will the eagles be gathered together. And if you notice, it, it, it goes the complete opposite of his word now, but I'm listening. Okay, yeah, okay. Um, and then it says, immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be seen, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heaven shall be darkened, and then shall appear the, si the sign. You're going out. Oh, yeah, you see, you cut him out. Well, the top of the earth mourn, and they <laughs> hold, on, hold on, I got, I got somebody back. Hello, it cut me out. Oh, yeah, yeah, could you? But I, I think my mind. Yeah, did it me out? My mind. Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, you, Jeannie. V, VB, can you hear me? This is Jeannie. I, I know, Jeannie. Give me one second. VB, is that you backstage? VB, unmute your mic. VB, unmute your mic. If that's you, I'm gonna have to get you out. I don't know if that's her or not. Yeah, it's one of my mods that it looked like it was backstage, but I don't know if that's my mod or not. That's why I put the screen up. Okay. <laughs> I, I, it's right, okay. Bro. Satan don't want don't want that to come out, but it will we'll do it. We'll do it. I'll read a little more tomorrow because I got other passages, but I just want to get that part out to let you know. Hey, this is exactly what's happening right now. This no, is what's going said, on. You a mouthful, but I want you to save that for tomorrow. We're gonna we're gonna run yeah. that back tomorrow because if you notice what you did say about the east and the west, remember earlier I told you now it I'm not saying forget what God said, I'm saying listen to what he said, yeah, I but do. it's doing the complete opposite right now. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. West to east. Yeah. God's still in yeah. operation. No, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. I'm not speaking. No, I'm not, I'm not, no, 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 no. Listen to me. I'm not speaking on God. I'm speaking on man. Mm -hmm. Right. It's going. You basically through. saying what he's saying is what they try to do. <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> they are, what I'm saying is they are trying to become God. Exactly. They are, they are trying to take away the sun. They're trying to take away the moon. And as you see, it's dark. The moon doesn't shine the same no more. The sun shines way brighter. It's weird. And then now instead of going west to east, or excuse me, east to west, going west to east, everything that God is saying, they're doing the complete opposite because they know he's coming. Mm -hmm. so we'll I'm get on it because I got something trying, more deeper. They are too. trying to take us away from God as much as possible. Yep. 
And that's why they're trying to stage this old alien invasion stuff to make you think when the, when the Messiah returns, oh, it's an alien invasion. And people are going to be trying to shoot the Messiah like idiots. It's all a game of Satan. VB, so, is that you? That? Yes, it's me, okay. Brad Okay, okay. okay. All right, with that, I, I, lay, I lay my plan down. I lay the plan down. I, I'll tap in with you tomorrow, Ratchet, man. Keep this up, man. And maybe, man, we need watch out for Ratchet, too, y'all. Watch out for anyone who's actually bringing this truth out in these times, because, man. Because, because you may be, be a, I, I'm challenging you right now because you may be afraid of the truth. Who? You. Who? You said Both I'm of you. You said, you're not afraid, afraid of the truth. truth. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, you know, before you before you judge, before you wait, 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 man, wait one second, one second. I, you, you're on mute right now. Well, you're on mute right now, man. Wait one second. What is she talking about? I have no idea. She just went completely left. She lose. That's, no, that's man. Spirit. That's guys, what that guys, means, guys. Guys, guys, slow down. One time, one 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 at a time, real quick. You said me, the person who opened up this huge platform to do this. You think I'm a you obviously don't know me too well. I stand in front of everything. Only well, thing I fear I'm, I'm in this, sorry. I, I apologize. I fear in this life is God Himself. There's nothing. Well, forgive me. And I'm I, not I afraid. I study. Hold on, ma'am. Let me say this to you. I'm not afraid. I study the truth. Only the truth. You hear me calling His real names out. That right there can get you ice out of here. Because that's what they try to keep you away from. Plain and simple. I fear nobody but the father and the son. Well, with that being said, Ratchet, I'll, I'll be back up tomorrow, man. I got other passages that's deep, that's in exactly on what we talking about and what's going on, brother. So keep it up, man. As I was saying, watch out for Ratchet. Watch out for these people. Ratchet, call on the name, man, and, and pray, bro, because it's going to get you. The, the, the rabbit hole is deep, brother. All right. Shalom, y'all. Shalom. Shalom. All right. Go ahead, ma'am. You, you said I'm afraid of the true VB. Stay up here. You said, I'm afraid of the truth. Go ahead. Go ahead. Get, get your stuff off. Go ahead. Okay. I will get my stuff up because, see, I can tell you the story. A opposed to, to uh, just talking, let me tell you the story. Because I'm not playing. I'm bearing my soul here. I came on your show simply because of what was said to me. Yeah. And I'm scared. I'm running for my life because you know what? If I don't say something and God doesn't give me something to say, what do you think going to happen to me? I'm, I'm, you what, know what, the word of God? What are, what are we talking? I, what, I'm just wondering, where do we go left? What, what is going on? Okay, here? well, I, I, I probably picked up from where I left off at. I'm sorry. But I started telling you, I, I'm, I'm overexcited. And I'm old. If that's an excuse, but God has given me something. And tonight I started praying and asking him what, you know, because I've been ignoring him. I mean, I've been ignoring it because nobody would believe it. I had trouble believing it. So I know how everybody else is, but I'm listening to your show tonight. And these people were saying some real profound things about that blood and the things that God had said to me about me and telling me things. I mean, I've got this stuff all documented. I, I mean, I got it all documented that if I really had to prove it, it's no problem. There's too many people that mm -hmm. told me you better do something. You better tell it. DTX, is that you, bro? Yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> it's a spirit, bro. But I, 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 I y'all gotta so. make it. Y'all gotta, gotta make it quick, cause you know I've been. I'm way past my time on here. But uh, yeah, I, I'll say this, and then I drop down. That words start coming out, and those spirits move, man. When that real truth start coming out, brother. Well, and I'm that, telling the truth. Word, if you that, check the word, scriptures okay. in. But if I, you right, check the scriptures in Daniel, listen to me, please. If you check the scriptures in Daniel, Man. he said there was a book to be revealed in the last days. Don't don't knock me. Go and check it out because it's there. There's a book to be revealed in the last days. Where you think we are? 
we Every, he said, everybody is living by the precepts of men but in the last days he was going to give a story it's going to be quite contrary to everything else that's out there why because that's god his ways ain't man's ways and he does the, and says in his word he takes the foolish he thing that you again to confound the wise so <laughs> i'm, I'm gonna leave it at that okay like that, that right there that book he talking about that's not talking about what she's talking about that's mutual live in the background mutual they're live they're in the background sir sir mutual live I, got in the background. I got you hold on hold on hold on bro <laughs> child y'all do not want me to go uh, get off <laughs> like shit. So you can get off the line. My bad, Rocky. You're gonna be able to get out. Listen, bro. That book she's speaking on, that's talking about in the last. That's that's like that's talking about revelation. That's talking about the end part, right? We ain't there yet. And I heard her say something about him giving us the, the jewel with the name in it, and no man, the other man would know or whatever, except the one that's given. That's talking about after the thousand year reign. That's the very end. That is not talking about that. So I'm I don't telling know. I'm, I'm just gonna leave it at that, man. Really do read though that she she said one thing. Okay, right, well let me give you let me just you. give you one. Hold on, man. Let right, me right, just right, give right, you right, one right, scripture. Ma'am, ma'am. How about we try this tomorrow? I'm getting yeah, I'm way right past now, my time. I appreciate you, bro. And uh Miss Jeannie, I appreciate you. Yeah, I know, ma'am. I, I, I understand. Trust me, I do. I'm gonna bring you back up tomorrow. You you all over the place right now. It's just we'll be here th three more hours. That's I got, all I was calling. I was going to see if I can get her to come back tomorrow. All right, salute y'all. Okay. Thank you, Shay. Mm -hmm. VB, go ahead. Okay. I'm, I'm so sorry. Hello, everybody. Salute, salute, salute. Um, all I have to really say is I, I'm a I'm a healthcare professional. I have been in this field over 20 years. I started in high school um graduated in 06 so you you can tell how how old i am so what the lady was saying previously way way a long time ago before y'all started coming with the distractions with ratchet which y'all always do y'all always come with the distractions trying to get him off his pivot the point is that they need the melanin i worked in the plasma center even even when you there th when it's a medicaid case i've worked in pediatrics geriatrics and all of the in-between they have a refrigerator donated to pediatric vaccinations and pediatric vaccinations that are from private insurances if there's no if if there's no agenda there would be one refrigerator to store all of the vaccinations for the children. The point is that they're they're indoctrinating the children and they're planting certain things in the children of the next generations. They don't give a damn about these grown people. It's the children that they want. I, I have seen it. I worked in the plasma center. I seen which if you if there's a such thing as called lipemic plasma when you donate plasma lipemic plasma appears as like pink like a pink strawberry milk shake that's how it appears they direct you have to go through a screening process but it uh, they they're given the illusion that they are that they're not discriminating they only want the melanated plasma and that's it and that's all they don't care whether you and and another thing that a lot of people don't realize is that when you donate plasma it's also a form of community service you can contribute the hours that you train that you that you contribute your plasma as community service, whether it be to get our probation or this or that. It, it is a form of community service. What minority, what other minority do you know that's more that's more incarcerated than any other minority and any other group than the people that they're targeting? There's a reason why people that are donating plasma are of a certain different demographic. Everybody is like, unless you worked in the medical field, we know how that works. They're targeting people, and it's because 
they're less fortunate and they want the money. But the real ing the gag is that's the play. They want the plasma of melanated people. Thanks, thanks. And that's it. And that's all. Salute. I've seen I've been in the freezer where you have to you have to have a certain type of EEP equipment. Anybody that's in the medical field knows that you have to go, you cannot go in a freezer. This ain't jack in the box. This ain't McDonald's where you go in a freezer and get some patties out. No. You have to you have to apply PPE. There's protocols that you have to do. I VB, have VB. VB. Well, we're gonna be here all. I I, I love you, VB. I know, I, I know. I got food in there. I ordered an hour ago. I'm hungry. <laughs> I'm tired. I, I appreciate it. Call back in tomorrow, and we'll do this tomorrow. Yes, I, I'll, I'll be back on tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna give my final thoughts. I appreciate you, VB. No, no problem. Salute, 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 hun. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah, y'all. Look, I had to cut. We've been on. We'll be here five hours, and I, I be try. You know, I try, man. But we be, we gonna go all over the place tonight. And I want to stop it right here. I appreciate everybody. I love all y'all. Now, I love the these conversations because you start to realize God is the only way. There's only one way out of this hell hole that we're in right now. This shit hole that we're in is the only way out is through God, Jesus Christ. Through the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's the only way out of this shit that we got ourselves in. Man is the most evil thing to ever that he ever created. Because man, how can I put it like this? Man always wants more. You give a man one thing, he wants a million. You give an inch, they'll take a mile. People have been. I mean, even Satan himself was the most, the angel with the most beautiful voice. And you ask yourself, why is the music industry the most demonic thing that we all have? The music industry is the most demonic thing that we all have, and they promote the most because that's the devil's playground. He was the he was the best musician there was in heaven. He had the most beautiful voice in heaven. I mean, this is not my, I'm not making this up. Am I am I lying here, y'all? So you got to understand the melodic. Why do you think music turned melodic? Why do you think the chants came? Why do you think the uh, frequencies slowed down in the music and they changed the frequencies in the music to basically pump shit in you? The you know, and, and they use the frequencies and the vibrations and the melodic energies and shit like that to capture your souls. Therefore, when you're at the concerts and they're energy harvesting you. They tell you what to do and you do it. And you don't understand this music is taking over your soul. That's why your kids are running around acting like NBA young boys. That's why some of your kids paint their nails now. And that's neither here nor there. But that's why some of your kids is running around doing all the shit that they're doing is because they have been controlled. Why do you think your little girls all grow up to be a certain way? That's because, I mean, they're bred like that now. It's bred to go strip and get on OF when you're 18 years old and go run up that bag, right? You're going to hell. Everybody's going to hell if they don't get get right and get with get with God. Allegedly, I'm just saying. Look, I, look, I'm not trying to scare anybody. I'm just saying. Look, the time is now. You still have a chance. You still have a choice. You choose to sin every day. We all we all fuck up. We all fall short of God. And I'm not judging anybody. I'm just saying, if you die today, where are you going? Just be real with yourself. You don't got to answer it. If you died right now. Where are you going? Because I can't say that I'm going to heaven if I die right now. I fuck up every day. I'm trying to change my life to get there. I'm trying to live my life through Jesus. I fuck up all the time. I've gotten to the point where now I want to cut out sex. I don't want to smoke weed anymore. Like dead ass serious. I don't want to have sex. Like I have no. And, and, and another thing is pornography. You got to stop watching that it's so much shit that we have to stop doing y'all and we fuck up so much and i'm just trying to tell y'all straight up listen to me stop doing what you're doing i'm sorry i'm not taking no more callers tonight but call back in tomorrow tyler i'll, I'll take your calls tomorrow i'm giving my final thoughts i do appreciate y'all for trying to call in though. but the only way out of this is through jesus that's the only way you don't gotta listen to me I, i'm not here to preach i'm just here to send a message from the most high that he wants me to sin. He spoke to me clearly today. When I tell you, 
God spoke to me clearly today. He sent me a message that I will not forget. He he put his hands on me today. Something fucked up happened today, but I know it was him talking to me. And I was like, damn, like, okay. That was God. I just said, as soon as I said, that was God. Like, it was God talking to me. He, I, trust me, I heard you. I hear you. I'm done with a lot of shit. Excuse my language. I still mess up, y'all. But yeah, I'm done with a lot of stuff, man. He he definitely is talking to me and he got his hands on me and he ain't taking them off and he watching me real close, especially with a lot of eyes on me. You understand that? It's a lot of eyes, evil eyes and good eyes. There's a lot of people here for the wrong reasons. There's a lot of people here for the right reasons. But I take this shit with my chin up, my chest out. Whatever happens to me is going to happen. And at the end of the day, I know where I'm trying to go. So I don't give a fuck who looks at me any kind of way or what the hell is going on in my life. I'm not going to stop sending my messages out and I'm changing like dead ass. I, it's a different, it's a different me, every, especially since it's eclipse and I've been getting closer with God, man. So with that being said, the only way out of this life that we're living is through Jesus Christ. That's it. I was not always a believer. I, I'm being real with y'all. I was not always. A, I used to think the craziest shit. Not no more. I know he's real. And I felt him. So everybody get your shit together, man. We don't have a lot of time on this earth. Don't We don't have a lot of time at all. So I'm getting too emotional right now. It's time to end this stream. I love all y'all. Much more than y'all will ever know that Jesus is the way. That's all I can say. Salute to all y'all, man. I got to get the fuck off here, man. So I love y'all. Good night to everybody. God bless you all. Make sure that y'all all like, share, and subscribe to the channel. We will be back tomorrow. Hey, God bless y'all. I love y'all, man. It's your boy, Big Ratchet, Ratchet TV. I'm signing off. Make sure all y'all like the video and get in the comment section when this is over. Let me know how y'all felt about today's content. We went super viral today, y'all. When y'all see the numbers after I end this, we went super viral today, y'all. We had another one of those viral shows. And I'm starting to think this message is catching on. A lot of people are tuning into this platform to hear these talks and to understand where we're, where we're going with this. We're going down a rabbit hole of humanity. This is the biggest case that we've ever covered on this channel this is the most important thing that we've ever done over here everything else was bullshit compared to what we're doing right now so keep your eyes open keep your ears open stay woke man stay woke stay on your 10 man i love y'all this your boy big ratchet i'm out She wanna talk to the kids, make one wish. I'ma get five right, move the syrup, I'm tryna get high tonight. So we gon' pile fight. I'ma talk that shit as soon as they hit in the light. Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, with your geek like me. Do you like Miley Cyrus? Do you like Virgil White? I done been jumping off with straight bumpers and needles, I earn my stripes. But with the gang and bumpers and family, whether they wrong or right. Family, with the cash transaction, know we can be the swipe. Kept my chest secure, I keep my pipe. To protect my life, I know my right. I must be a girl like a nigga, a friend to do this, she bad, she working that other shit. I gave her a sack full of money, she bought her shit back in the game with something to do. Better that demons run. They look at it, do nothing to it, ain't nothing. She fought with a ball, she upgraded from her last nigga, said he won them. Her nigga ain't seen no money. Push out the drive, we stepping and gun. Me me at poker, me me at boy, nigga won't smoke a beef, we coming. Look at these big boy toys, they gorgeous, all these gorgeous girls want I be ignoring them, they be ignoring me, I be ignoring them, like we fucking. Fuck your man, no, she can't answer the phone. That's how she gettin' that bag on her own No, I'm not alone, cause I came with the fire I'm still gon' put it on, and my bitch match my vibe The way the load drop, she might think it's out the sky I'm standing on business, and she's standing on mine